Yo, what's up everyone? What's up PlayStation Nation? You are now tuned in to the What's Up PlayStation Podcast. What's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it live in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. What it is, what it do, what's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. They don't need no introduction. You already know what you're getting in that is facts with a discussion. The greatest to bless the mic without the needless interruption. Face it, we got an anonymy like a little bite of me for a concussion. You know what's up, man. I mean it when I seen it. I was proud of these brothers. They entertain the people every week without cussing. And you don't ever hear the drama. They keep it clean on the podcast. Independent duo doing it big when they broadcast. Haters need to see them doing positive things. PlayStation Nation got you. Ain't it obvious, man? We pulling up every week and showing love in the chat. Unlike these other channels, these guys are showing it back. Like, what's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it live in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. What it is, what it do, what's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. They don't need no introduction. Persona, persona, the gaming politician, politicking for the come up. Division and vision require precision, decision that gotta be thought of. The potential is exponential, gaming credentials is what they brought us. Get caught up. You know, Barry bring the passion when he's speaking from the heart. He the best lisp on YouTube, climbing up the charts. And when Persona speaks, he gon' tear the mic apart. Intellectually, of course. Cause you know the boy's smart They cover the news with integrity So you know it's a must watch Ain't no console war Just two brothers being a fight What's up PlayStation Got the Saturdays locked And if you ain't tuning in You missing out Get blocked What's up What it is What it do What's up What it is PlayStation What's up Jay Barry and Persona Got it locked in the tub Saturday morning Y'all know what's up What it is What it do What's up what it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. Yo, listen, man, um, I really do appreciate everyone that always comes through to rock out with me and uh, me and Barry, man, on What's Up PlayStation Podcast, a podcast by fans, for the fans, or by the community, for the community, I should say. Um, listen, man, uh, for me, man, I'm gaming with Persona. If you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoyed listening, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm a PlayStation, I'm a PlayStation, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PlayStation fan, too. Yo, what's up everyone? What's up PlayStation Nation? You are now tuned in to the What's Up PlayStation Podcast. What's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it live in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what They don't up. need no introduction. Nah. You already know what you're getting in that. It's facts with a discussion. Facts. The greatest to bless the mic without the needless interruption. Facts. Face it, we got an anonymy like a little bite of me for a concussion. You know what's up, man. Uh, what? I mean it when I seen it. I was proud of these brothers. Of these they brothers. entertain the people every week without cussing. And uh, you what? don't ever hear the drama. They keep it clean on the podcast. On the podcast. Independent yes. duo doing it big when they broadcast. Hey, broadcast. Haters need to see them doing positive things. Positive PlayStation things. Nation got you. Ain't it obvious, man? Obvious, we pulling man. up every week and showing love in the chat. Unlike these other channels, these guys are showing it back. Like, what's, what's up? up? What it is, what it do? What's up? Uh, what? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it live in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. What it is, what it do, what's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. They don't need no introduction. 
option. No. Persona, persona, the game and politician, politicking for the come up. Woo. Division and vision require precision, decision that gotta be thought of. Woo. The potential is exponential, game of credentials is what they brought us. Get caught up. A what? <laughs> you know, Bari bring the passion when he's speaking from the heart. From he the, the heart. best list on YouTube, climbing up the charts. Up and the when charts. persona speaks, he gon' tear the mic apart. Like Intellectually, fun. of course, cause you know the boy's smart. They cover the news with integrity, so you know it's a must watch. Ain't no console war, just two brothers being a fuck. What's up, PlayStation? Got the Saturdays locked. And if you ain't tuning in, you missing out. Get blocked. What's up? What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is? PlayStation? What's up? J Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday mornings, y'all know what's up. What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? J Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday mornings, y'all know what's up. Uh, yo, listen, man. Um, I really do appreciate everyone that always comes through to rock out with me and uh, me and Barry, man, on What's Up PlayStation podcast, a podcast by fans for the fans or by the community for the community, I should say. Um, listen, man. Uh, for me, man, I'm gaming with Persona. If you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoyed listening, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm a PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation fan too. Yo, what's up everyone? What's up PlayStation Nation? You are now tuned in to the What's Up PlayStation Podcast. What's up? What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is? PlayStation? What's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up? What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. They don't up. need no introduction. No. You already know what you're getting in that. It's facts with a discussion. Facts. The greatest to bless the mic without the needless interruption. Facts. Face it, we got an anonymy like a little bite of me for a concussion. You know what's up, man. Uh, what? I mean it when I seen it. I was proud of these brothers. Of these they brothers. entertain the people every week without cussing. And uh, you what? don't ever hear the drama. They keep it clean on the podcast. On the podcast. Independent yes. duo. Doing it big when they broadcast Haters need to see them doing positive things PlayStation Nation got you Ain't it obvious, man? We pulling up every week and showing love in the chat Unlike these other channels, these guys Are showing it back like, what's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation? What's up? J. Barry and Persona Got it locked in the tub Saturday morning, y'all know what's up? What it is, what it do? What's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday mornings, y'all know what's up. We don't up. need no introduction. No. Persona, persona, the gaming politician, politicking for the come up. Woo. Division and vision require precision, decision that gotta be thought of. Woo. The potential is exponential, game of credentials is what they brought us. Get caught up. A what? <laughs> you know, Barry bring the passion when he's speaking from the heart. From he the, the heart. best list on YouTube, climbing up the charts. Up and the when charts. Persona speaks, he gon' tear the mic apart. The mic Intellectually, apart. of course. Cause you know the boy's smart They cover the news with integrity So you know it's a must watch Ain't no console war Just two brothers being a fun What's up PlayStation Got the Saturdays locked And if you ain't tuning in You missing out Get blocked What's up What it is What it do What's up What it is PlayStation What's up J Barry and Persona Got it locked in the tub Saturday morning Y'all know what's up What it is What it do What's up what it is, PlayStation, what's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. Yo, listen, man. Um, I really do appreciate everyone that always comes through to rock out with me and uh, me and Barry, man, on What's Up PlayStation podcast, a podcast by fans for the fans or by the community for the community, I should say. Um, listen, man. Uh, for me, man, I'm gaming with Persona. If you enjoyed, uh, if you enjoyed listening, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a PlayStation. I'm a PlayStation fan too. Yo, what's up everyone? What's up PlayStation Nation? You are now tuned in to the What's Up PlayStation Podcast. What's up? What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is? PlayStation? What's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. What it is? What it do? What's up? What it is? PlayStation? What's up? J. Barry and Persona got it locked in the tub.
Hit station, what's up? Jay Burry and Persona got it live in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. What it is, what it do, what's up? What it is, PlayStation, what's up? Jay Burry and Persona got it locked in the tub. Saturday morning, y'all know what's up. They don't up. need no introduction. No. You already know what you're getting, and that is facts with a discussion. Facts. The greatest to bless the mic without the needless interruption. Face it, we got an anonymy like a little bite of me for a concussion. You know what's up, man. Uh, what? I mean it when I seen it. I was proud of these brothers. Of these they brothers. entertain the people every week without cussing. And uh, you don't what? ever hear the drama. They keep it clean on the podcast. The podcast. Independent duo doing it big when they broadcast. broadcast. Haters need to see them doing positive things. Positive PlayStation things. Nation got you. Ain't it obvious, man? Obvious. We pulling. You know what time it is when you hear them trophies ring. Yo, what is up, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Welcome to another episode of What's Up, PlayStation Podcast. Episode 160, to be exact. Yes, we are climbing the ranks, man. 40 more episodes. 39 more episodes, I mean. Until 200. I wonder what the celebration will be at episode 200, man. But welcome, everyone. See the beautiful PlayStation Nation. See the beautiful people in the chat. What is up? Hopefully, everybody's having a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend, wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. I don't know where you at in the world, but the key word is wonderful. Hopefully, it's wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, welcome, everyone. We appreciate you guys coming through, showing support. For What's Up PlayStation and What's Up PlayStation Podcast. But for those people that are new to What's Up PlayStation Podcast, we are a PlayStation-centric podcast where we talk about the latest. And I mean the greatest. The good, the bad, the ugly news of PlayStation throughout the week. I am one of your hosts, Jay Barry, and I got the best lisp on YouTube. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's like I said, I'm just one of the hosts here. What's Up PlayStation Podcast is a two-man team. Two men are at this helm of the ship. You know what I mean? Like I said, every time, like we said from episode three, when we say we're going right, we're going right. When we say we're going left, we're going left. When we want to go straight, we're going straight. You see the man down there, man. You see him down there, man. You see him, the king of queens himself. Huh? The, the, the ex defiant God. Huh? The aim assist God. Huh? Oh, Mr. Mr. Dragon's Dogma himself. The, yes, the, 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 the pawn god. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gaming with Persona. Persona, what's good, bro? Yo, yo, what's good, everybody, man? Your boy Persona. Gaming with Persona, one half of the What's Up PlayStation podcast crew. I'm happy to be here, man, on another Saturday episode 160 of What's Up PlayStation podcast. Shout out to the Whoops Nation members. Shout out to the Warp community. Shout out to the people finding our channel for the first time. If you are finding our channel for the first time, we hope you enjoy your stay. And hopefully, by the end of the show, we earn your like and subscribe. It's good to be here, man. It's good to be here, man. Barry, we've been game. We we some we some game. We some gaming brothers, man. <laughs> you what know, you I got, I got what's your microphone? Hey, man, listen, I gotta shout. I gotta shout you out, bro, because you know, uh, contrary to popular belief, uh. We some gaming brothers out here, man. You definitely got you a, a really difficult platinum this yeah. week. She and 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 yo, listen, I got I got to throw I got to tip my hat. Well, I ain't got a hat on. I'm gonna tip my hood to you, uh, because I'm gonna, yo, man, I'm gonna tip my hat. I'm gonna tip my hat to you. Yes, sir. You got that uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth platinum. Almost 300 hours in the game. Yes, yo, shout well, out to you. Boy. PlayStation clocked me at 301. The game itself, I'm around. 276 79 i think it was um mm -hmm. you know sometimes you work and if you idle it, it mm -hmm. stops the, the the game time but um mm -hmm. man what a platinum <laughs> yeah no listen you you definitely you definitely did your thing man and it, it, it was cool to to see your journey because you know i've been following you know we talk all the time so like yeah, you know yeah. you tell me about like this part is difficult or how you did this or what what to expect with this then the third and uh, I'm glad to see that you you got the platinum, man. Yo, congrats bro, to you, bro. There was times where I was doubting myself. I was like, yo, I ain't going to get this, man. I know, I know, man. This is difficult, man. And yo, yeah. I, 
I had to lock in, bro. I had to lock yeah, in. Yeah. I had to I had to, I put I put my phone on do not disturb silent and I was locking in on them piano joints. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah I got an yeah. only A rank. I don't give a damn about no S rank. A, 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 a is what was worth pride. <laughs> yeah. what, what matters is that platinum, you feel me? Like that's what matters, man. You did your thing. Uh yo, shout out to you, bro. That's 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 big gamer stuff. That's honestly that because I'm gonna have mine, you know, I'll have mine next as uh, uh soon. That's a big gaming achievement right there. This Final Yo, Fantasy VII Rebirth Platinum is is, is big sick, boy stuff. Sick knows. Sick got the Platinum as well. Sick knows, man. Uh, he said he felt the same way to Zach Channel. Yo, bro, I promise you, and that Zach, that Zach Channel ch- challenge took me about three, three days to fully complete because I was just messing around, switching up stuff, switching up materia. You know, because, you know, there's other stuff that you do that you can kind of you know, do some really beastly setups and, and cheese a little bit. And those Zach and uh, you know, Sephiroth joint, you can't, you can't, you can't cheese that. Mm-hmm. You gotta have you gotta learn those those matchups, matchups for real, for real. Even the brutal stuff is difficult too, man. It's hard. Mm-hmm. But yo, I, I I always knew that I can get past the brutal and legendary stuff. It was that goddamn piano, the true final. <laughs> yo, that was the one, yo. I promise you with everything, bro. I was like, nah, 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 man. You know what I mean? Yo, people was telling me, yo, Bari, if you, if you want me to, you know, share play and I could do it for I was like, hell nah, this is my most anticipated game. I'm not doing that. I, I will feel robbed if I was to do that on my most anticipated game. Everything I've done was by myself, you know I me mean, for myself, you know what I mean, throughout that game, man. And then, yeah, ended up getting it. Yes, sir. Oh, Persona, yes, you got a platinum as well, man. Whoa, I play games? Really? Who you got knew? a platinum as well, man? What what platinum I get? <laughs> you was in the Dragons of Dogmas? Hey. What's going yes, on over here, man? Well, listen, I need you to I need you to stop and relax, okay? You know what I mean? I know. I, know. I, I need I've, you, I've been... I I need you to stop and relax, man. I need you to stop coming up in here. You know, oh, I, I got this platinum. You know, stop, man. How much goddamn platinum is you gonna get, man? As many as I can, man. As many as I can. You feel me? Uh, before that transition to PC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, listen, yo. When it comes, when it comes to uh, you know, Dragon's Dogma Two, I love you know. For those that have been following us or following me on my personal channel, um, y'all know I'm a big, big Dragon's Dogma fan. Um, I love the first game. Very happy to see a sequel been fiending for this game for a long time uh and honestly that's what kind of pulled me away from finishing up the platinum for final fantasy is guy i really wanted to play dragon's dogma and not get too far out before i could really sit down and play it so i was like you know what let me dedicate i know i can probably get the platinum quicker in dragon's dogma than in final fantasy because of a lot of what a lot of what you have to do in final fantasy so that's why i kind of transitioned to to switch over to to uh, dragon's dogma too but uh, I love this game so much. I I put a lot of time. Uh, my my final completion time was about 106 hours uh, to do everything to get the oh, platinum. Nice. Um, I, I had a lot of fun playing this game. Uh, I enjoyed this game. I hope we get some DLC for it. The platinum was really fun. It some parts can be difficult because um, there's definitely some stuff that I messed up on that I had to do clean up in in New Game Plus. But um, you know the enemies, the 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 vocations. The, you know, the end game boss fights and stuff like that was really, really fun, really good. Um, and once I got my build to way I, the way I wanted it with uh, the thief, you know, I ended up, it's funny because the war, I, I started off as fighter because I'm like, yo, I, I want to be a fighter or whatever. But the fighter class in this game isn't as viable as, as it was in the first game. So I kind of like, all right, you know what, let me switch to warrior because warrior is a better DPS tank, in my opinion, um, even though it's a, it's a lot slower. It it has better. It's got. It's just got. It's a better vocation to me personally. Um, then you know, I was like, you know what? Let me try because like you can mix and match different augments in the game to have, to build your character how you want from other classes. So I was like, let me try some of the other classes and level those up and max those out so that I can kind of mix and match some of the different augments or, or skills to see like what would fit my ultimate build. Once I got to the thief, it was hard for me to go back to anything, bro. I was like, hold oh, up, bro. This thief oh, was. <laughs> Yo, this thief was crazy. I was like, yo, wait, this th- even like climbing at bosses and doing the damage and all that, like the damage and the movement and everything was really, really good. And because I had the the warrior and fighter augments, I had pretty good defense as well. So 
Uh, for me, uh, you know, Dragon's Dogma is, is incredible. I loved it. I love getting a platinum. Uh, shout out to uh, Capcom. I'm freezing, so, aren't I? I am, yeah, right? Yeah, a little bit. It's crazy, bro. I don't know why this keeps happening. Yeah, it keeps talking. Nah, it's all good, though. Nah, man. Uh, yeah, man. You know, great accomplishments, you know, happen uh, throughout the week. So, you know what I mean? We can we can get our gaming on and, uh, you know, still do what we can do, uh, you know, through uh, the week. But, yeah, everyone, this is uh, episode 160. If you don't mind, hit the like button, share the stream out, get the PlayStation Nation in here. And if you're new, hopefully you enjoy your stay. Hopefully you can subscribe. If you really, really enjoy, hit the join button, you know, become a Wups Nation member. Like I said, uh, next month we'll be doing our Wups Nation uh, uh, giveaways uh, for all members. So you know how we, me and Persona get down. You know, we, we tend to, you know, give back to the community a lot uh, when it comes to, you know, people that support and, and show us love here on What's Up PlayStation. And uh, we're going to be doing that next month uh, in May. So be on the lookout for that announcement to see what uh, show we're going to be doing that for. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. You know what I mean? So definitely tune in and, and rock out with us. Also, um, we have a nice special announcement. Uh, before you know we start the show final fantasy 7 uh means a lot to us here at what's up playstation as you can see yo j roll man appreciate uh you gifting uh uh whoops nation uh membership yo cloud strife welcome back it's all time well persona what's up uh final fantasy 7 means a lot uh to us here uh, at what's up playstation no one of the one of our main or first theme that we had for what's up playstation was actual final fantasy 7 uh where you know you know i was zach persona i mean i was cloud persona was zach and we're back to back because you know that's, that's a game that inspired you know what's up places to do these things here so having the remake having rebirth really really special uh you know uh to us here at the show and we're gonna have a special interview with uh <laughs> somebody really really special here uh when it comes to final fantasy 7 uh rebirth or uh remake and let's see if you guys can guess who will will have as a, a a guest here on whoops before i even say it let me see if anybody can guess it because it's gonna be a good one it's gonna be a a bombastic one. You know what I mean? Tifa, nope. Max, nope. We're going to have one of the voice actors for the uh, 7 uh, Remake Project, uh, Remake and Rebirth. We're going to have John Eric Bentley come on through, the voice actor for Barrett Wallace. He's going to hang out with us uh, next weekend. Uh, for what's up PlayStation uh, podcast episode one uh, sixty one, so yeah, we're gonna be asking asking him some questions, you know, dive into his mind and how he felt about uh, you know you know being Barrett Wallace, his portrayal as Barrett Wallace, you know his other endeavors that he has uh, when it comes to gaming or just in life. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. No different than like when we had Daniel Basudi on. You know, and other people on. We're gonna have some, you know, some questions that we want to ask, and we're gonna have some fun questions as well. Uh, you know, lined up for him, man. So next weekend, next Saturday, episode one sixty one, we're gonna have John Eric Bentley on, the voice actor for Barrett Wallace in Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth, uh, here on What's Up PlayStation Podcast, uh, where we're gonna be, you know, interviewing and talking to him, man. So very, very excited for that. Hopefully, you guys can come through uh you know show some love we're gonna have like a uh uh a community post for anybody that want to ask any questions or any thoughts or whatnot you want to ask on that post before the show um you know uh and then we'll see if we can you know ask him those questions uh during uh next week's show man but yeah john yeah, eric bentley will be here uh next weekend talking to the whoops boys man yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be dope, man. I'm definitely excited for that, man. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with my, my my with my my camera, bro. I don't know what's up here. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, 
But um, yeah, nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool, really dope. I'm definitely really really excited to uh to see you know to talk to him and and to see what's up and whatnot. So I know that's gonna be really really fun. So you know, shout out to uh John Bentley, you know, for coming through, rocking out with Whoops, uh, rocking out with us, man. I know it's gonna be a fun time. And yeah, man, we you know we can't wait to talk to him and interview him and whatnot. You know, and and like you said, just like with Daniel Basuti, uh, you know, uh. It's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a fun time, like we always do with everything, you know. Oh yeah, one hundred percent, man. Uh yeah, yo, sick. Uh, Genova Life uh, Clinger is the last one. Yeah, hard mode. It was definitely like, uh, hard mode definitely changed a lot of aspects when it comes to a lot of these bosses. You got to change uh, your mindset. But yo, one thing I really love in hard mode, uh, I started using prime mode a lot, and prime mode definitely had me uh like especially when it comes to atb um you know putting fury um on, on cloud because i was using it defensively and i was using it uh offensively as well you know what i mean so hard prime mode is is god tier uh, in rebirth man if you know you guys unlock prime mode definitely make sure you get the proficiency up master that thing master how the attack works how to get into it after dodging uh because prime mode will take you a long way uh and buffing it buffing your characters definitely take a long way too man um you're going to be buffing your characters a lot empowerment uh with bravery or if, if you're going for like magic stuff uh uh, uh faith it works works a long way too um but yeah like one thing i did wish i could have got though um with uh uh in hard mode is more mp absorbs and hp absorbs um but yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna have my review up for rebirth up very soon i'm gonna start working on it like tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna work on it and hopefully by the week i have that thing out um because i already just download the music that i want to you know have played and then here at what's up playstation we're gonna have our review where you know i have my thoughts persona have his thoughts and then you know each each of our individual score we're gonna tally it up together and have an official whoops uh you know score uh for the game but uh yeah rufus rufus in hard mode was 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 pretty tough too but i found a stun lock for him too i i'm i'm gonna show that because i clipped it where i was on a, i was in a party chat with like dre and uh dreology you know plus some black boy um and i think what well, persona was in the party chat too and i was like yo i think i found a stun lock uh for um for Rufus and I was I was I was stunning him a little where he was like you know staggered and I and um that that made me that mean I mean it, I died when I learned it but after like three more tries I was like oh let me let me keep continuing this joint and uh it worked out well I have I had the the video I'm gonna show and I'm gonna put up the videos you know how I did the stuff AT uh my material setups just like I I put out a video showing the rulers of the um outer world i did my whole strategy i did my whole material setup on that so if you guys or or, or gals want to see that you can definitely go and check that out uh, if you're struggling with that battle um and i i'm gonna have the individual legendary stuff as well the zach one and the sephiroth one as well um uploaded soon i just gotta edit that stuff and uh you know put my commentary over it Yo, Mo Chocolate Man, appreciate the two dollar donation. He said, "Congrats on getting the platinum." Appreciate it, man. Definitely appreciate it. I said, "Play much differently." Oh yeah, man. Um, I went, I went more magic. You know what I mean? I went more magic on uh, on my playthrough with that rulers of the outer world because I was trying to fight them physically, and I couldn't get enough, you know, bravery out there without them, you know, interrupting it. Because one thing I know I noticed, especially when it came to like remake as well, that when you do your level threes, like magic, they can't they can't hit you out of that. You know what I mean? But let's say you do like a you know bravery or you do like uh haste or even uh uh faith, they can knock you out of that. You know what I mean? And you waste the ATB. So I was like, you know what? Let me uh <laughs> I'm gonna start taking advantage of 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 that uh you know invincibility frames or they can't just knock me out of that. And I was level three, level three fire, level three thundering these dudes um, in there, man. 
But uh, Persona, you back? Yeah, can nope. you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry, so something, t- happened. something happened with my uh thing. Nah, you good. We typically will start the show off um with the games for the week. But we mm-hmm. did shout out to Push Square for you know continue to put up you know the new games for PlayStation this week. They didn't have one um up this week, but let's see what games came out this week. Let me see if I can pull some stuff up. I know, I know. Um, grounded. I think see if these came out. Grounded, this week as well. Yeah, I think I think grounded came out this week for sure. Yeah, yeah, grounded came out this week for anybody that enjoyed that game on like Xbox and PC. It's officially out now on PlayStation. Cool concept. I didn't really like the 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 the, the gameplay so much uh, for grounded, but you no, know, probably if you like that survival type element, you probably enjoy that. I think Dave the Diver uh, came out this week as well. It's officially out on PlayStation Plus. Um, so if you have PlayStation Plus, uh, you know, premium and extra, you can play Dave the Diver, um, you know, through the service. That's all I can really think of. Uh, didn't some else, something else come out this week? I can't think of like nothing else that came out this week. Honestly. Yeah, maybe that's why they probably have an article. Yeah, push, push, square, push Square didn't update it. Nah, they didn't have an article. Yeah, so normally yeah. they would. Normally they would put the article well, out like around Tuesday or Wednesday, and then it will up. Mm-hmm. It will get updated throughout the week. And they didn't have nothing. Uh, yeah. So it probably wasn't a whole lot that came out this week. Yo, Chuck, what up, man? Yo, Wolfgang Mishima with the nine nine and nine iPhone user. He said, "Congrats on the plat bar, a very challenging platinum to do." Yeah, appreciate it, Wolf man. Definitely appreciate it. Yeah, sure. it's definitely a very, very challenging. That's one of those platinums right there where it's just like, yo, yeah, you did it. This is a this is a crazy one. And I had a goal of getting it before it went to like one percent. You know what I mean? So I got it at uh zero point eight percent. I wonder if I'll be able to get it before it gets to one percent. I probably going. I'm probably going. I think, come I think honestly, I think you will. If if you start it now or. I'm pretty sure you're gonna do it after Stellar Blade. Though. That's the only yeah, reason why Stella I feel Blade. like you're not. But if yeah, you I'm start, not. if you start the journey now, and mm-hmm. then Stellar Blade come out, I feel like you will get it because once you beat Stellar Blade and you platinum that, and if you go right back to it, because not a lot of people is gonna get that platinum because that Johnny stuff, not a lot of people, not a lot of people is gonna do that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to yeah, do that stuff. Not man. a lot of people is gonna do the brutal or uh, legendary stuff. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. So. I definitely feel like you'll 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 get if you start it now. Where I mean, like leveling up, getting all your material. Uh, that's that's probably up. what I'm gonna start. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk offline about that too, like the yeah. the farming spots and all that stuff. But that's probably what I'll start this weekend. Play, you know, Final Fantasy 16 and seven simultaneously this weekend, just to kind of start the farming and whatnot. But um, yeah, yo, that's that's a that's a that's a feat. That that's probably gonna be. I, I think when it comes to the year end. Uh, the end of year wrap ups seven is definitely gonna be in, the, oh, yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's gonna be number one for 100%. sure. Oh, right. Like, yo, sure. that's why that's why a lot of people struggle when it comes to them brutal and uh legendary stuff because mm. they're not leveling up their support material. Support mm. material is super super important and it takes the longest to level up. Um, yep. and some people not trying to do that grind to get that to uh max level, but it's mm-hmm. needed, man. It's it's needed 100%. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy 16 DLC, uh, the Rise of uh, Rising Tide that came out this week as well. We will be talking about that because we're gonna have a little, little impressions and there's news as far as uh, you know, the update for that game, but uh, yeah, we will be talking about that. Shouts to Trap House, uh, gamers with the five dollars giving the uh, the plus up, you know, what I mean, they're saying like, yo, we here, I'm here, happy 420. That's what he, you know, yes, sir, <laughs> shout, yes, to sir. Man, man. shout out to the, to, the, to the 420 folks out there, man. Big shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, man. Happy 420s to all the uh the potheads. <laughs> you know what I mean? Get your chiba on. Do what you gotta do. Yes, uh, be safe. Uh enjoy be yourself and uh make sure it's legal in your state. It should be legal all, all states right. now, right? Uh, I I don't know. I, I, it's legal in New York. I know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's why you smell it all over the goddamn place. In New no York. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but yeah, facts, facts. uh but yeah, let's get into it though, Persona man. man before we start, even how is your like, week going? Oh my my week? Uh 
yo, <laughs> what a what a, what a week it's been. It's been a very uh, interesting week, man. Work wise, uh, you know, work is you know work is work. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of things. You had uh, time to like, hold spaces though. Yeah, I did. I know, right? Um, while I was getting work done. But, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, work, you know, a lot of things this week, you know, a lot of projects and things like that. Um, but, you know, work is, work is going pretty smoothly. Gaming wise, man, uh, I've been gaming a lot this week as well. Um, you know, like I said, I really focused on the Final Fantasy. I mean, uh, focused on the Dragon's Dogma 2 Platinum. I really wanted to get that Platinum before Stella Blade came out. So now Stella Blade is out. Uh, it's coming out next week. So... You know, now I can kind of hyper focus on that. And then once we're done with Stella Blade, back to Final Fantasy VII, Rise of Ronin, playing a little bit of that, you know, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that's so, I'm starting this weekend too, Rise of Ronin. Yeah, Rise of Ronin, yep. So, um, started already, but I'm going to try to finish it up. Yeah, I'm actually going to start it because I, I booted it up. But once I got to the character select screen, uh, create screen, I was like, you know what? I need to like really sit down and like focus in on this. Tur I turned it off. I was like, you know what? I'll come back to this after Dragon's Dogma. So, I'm a, I'm a definitely start that up this weekend for sure. It looks like now Bari's having camera problems. Uh oh. Oh my. <laughs> yo. Uh, but yo, uh, it's like yeah, it's like a little laggy. It, it might it might just be me though. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, you know, game. Uh, and then you know, yeah, I did I did do a space this week. Um, you know, I given the news that came out this week, I definitely did a space. You know, I was working while I was doing a space, so you know, it was it was definitely. Uh, me getting things done at work, and I was able to play at the work. I was playing the game and got platinums while in the space, nine hours space, right? Uh, but I met my space quota this week. Uh, oh, this the stream! Year, so. I see the stream buffering. Yeah, I'm getting a notification. Is it really? Yeah. Oh no! Sheesh! It Yo, today be, is not our day, bro. It should be back up now. Today is not our day, Bar. You definitely got to update that internets, my boy. Mm -hmm. You got to update that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, how about you, man? How you feeling, man? How's everything with you? Uh, yeah, this, I mean, this week has been pretty cool. Uh, a lot of work uh, being done. Uh, Gaming-wise, you know, I ain't even going to talk about the work stuff. Work, you know, work is work. But gaming-wise, I'm just happy that, you know, I got this to, to platinum. Uh, my most anticipated game. Matter of fact, my most anticipated game and my second most anticipated game, I got the platinum to those. And th those two games are like my most hours so far. What was the second? Oh, you my Grand Blue. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, really. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yep. So, got that done, and um, got Final Fantasy VII Rebirth done, and those two games is over two hundred hours each. So, you know yep. what I mean. So, those are definitely gonna that. be in your top three most played. Yeah, because you know there's gonna be more updates of Grand Blue, and now that you know Rebirth is is done, and yo Rebirth is one of those games too. Like when you finish with that, like you really gotta like sit down. It's like, damn man. Like, yo, that went down in this game. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff to think about and assess and, uh, you know, just, just get your mind right about what happened in the game. You know what I mean? There's a lot of theories that's going on that I'm seeing, you know, shout out to uh, Blitz. You know, he had a stream with Max, uh, you know, uh, Night Sky, yeah, Prince, and uh, mm -hmm. um, a whole bunch of other people. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they was breaking down the game and whatnot. And what I was like, yeah, some of the stuff I agree. Some of the theories, I'm like, mm, that's interesting. But now I want to really think about and all those things like going back and replaying it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, we'll see. I get that. I get that. But yeah, man, uh, it's been a wonderful. It's one. Of, it's it's a great time to be a PlayStation gamer, man. You know what I yeah. mean? It, it's yeah. not everything is not everything is is lollipops and rainbows over here. But you know the highs are really high. The it's high still, is high. Still, still a lot of a lot of a lot of great games uh, coming out. Uh, you know. Especially this the start of this year. I think the start of this year uh, on PlayStation has been pretty good. Absolutely, yeah. one of the best starts. But speaking of you know games, personas, getting to the spotlight games of the week. Uh, let us know spotlight game or games that you would like to recommend to the PlayStation community, the the, the gaming community, the PlayStation Nation. Mm -hmm. Um, and for those that don't know the spotlight, you know, break it down for them. And uh, you know, get into your spotlight games. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. First off, Barry, we uh, we we. I think you mentioned it earlier in the show, but I'll just mention it again. We actually forgot to do the spotlight last week, and Barry had hit me up after the show. I was like, bro, you know, we forgot. We forgot to do the spotlight. I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, who told me oh. Viper. Viper. Viper was like, yo, 
Um, shout out to Vice there's no spotlight because he's like it kind of threw him off. I was like, oh, yeah. yo, we did kind of kind of cruise through. I don't that. know how how I forgot. I don't know how I forgot the spotlight too. It's kind of crazy, but uh, we're gonna make we're gonna we're gonna make up for it this week as well with the spotlight. So buckle up. It's gonna be a long one. Pause. Oh, man. But uh, listen, uh, you know, for those who are new here, uh, we are in the spotlight portion of the show. And uh, for those who don't know, the spotlight is where me and Bar give you a game or games that we think you guys should check out. Right? It could be brand new games, it could be old games, it could be games from your childhood, it could be games that haven't even released yet. The purpose of the spotlight is for us to spotlight games that we think you, the community, should check out. Starting with me, spotlight games. For the week. Oh. Sit down, ladies and gentlemen. It's man about to break the rules rules. All right. So first spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you know, in school we all learned that November is Thanksgiving. But the school system lied. Mm. Thanksgiving is in April. More specifically, April 26th, 2024, which is when Stella Yams, aka Stella Blade, comes out. I can't wait for that game. I am excited for that game. I'm, it's one of my most anticipated games of the year. We getting the platinum in that. We playing that. That's, I can't wait. That comes out next week. If you guys haven't already, you can check out the demo. It's free. It's on the PlayStation Store. Go play it. Go complete enjoy it. it. You're going to love it. It's a great. Yeah, complete it. Complete the demo. Don't be one of these guys out here. Well, you know, I only play 15 minutes of the demo and I feel like <laughs> Yeah, you know what I watched this morning too? I watched the, uh, the, um, the, 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 the video diary on Stella Blade, yeah. like you know, oh, the, you saved and watched it. When I told you, see, ladies and gentlemen, I when I told it. him to watch it, I, well, you know, I, so I'm not gonna watch it because I know that they kind of they show spoilers and all this stuff there. I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> then he ends up watching it. You see, why are you always doing this? Go ahead, Bar. Hey man, they ain't spoil it though, so it's cool. I told you they didn't, <laughs> but it was it was good though. But uh, yeah, so Stella Blade, that's my first spotlight. Second spotlight, come on, Dragon's Dogma Two. Such a great game. I love this game so much. I love, 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 love this game. Whoa! Such a great game. And I am really, really enjoying it a lot. Dragon's Dogma 2. Third spotlight. Bari, I know we typically break, we break the rules here on What's a PlayStation Podcast, but I'm actually going to break a different type of rule. You might want to kick my shins after I mention this game. Chat, you might want to kick my shins as well, especially since somebody said we are the PC community. <laughs> uh, yo, listen, no rest for the wicked. Uh, I mm. have been playing that on Steam. Um, Steam? It's a, it's a, it's a Steam, I know, I know. Don't kick my shins. Don't beat me up. It's a really great game. I play about maybe two hours, two, three hours of the, of the, of the game. It's in early access right now. I really like it, man. It's a beautiful game. It's dope. It is coming to consoles. It is coming to PlayStation. But I re- this is a- when I first seen the game, I really wanted to play this and really wanted to get my hands on it to see what's up because it-, it really captured my attention. It's got a very nice Souls-like vibe to it um, and being asymmetrical. So it's like a mix between like Diablo and Souls, um, really and truly. And oh, it, is it-, asymmetrical. it really is dope. Asymmetrical. Yeah, it's asymmetrical. Yeah, it's asymmetrical. Um, I'm loving it, though, man. It's, it's a really, really cool game. I, I-, I like it a lot, man. It- it's really dope. So... Uh, no rest for the wicked. Uh, that's that's my third spotlight. Fourth spotlight. Even in Chronicles, hundred heroes. Very very excited for this game. Can't wait for this game. Uh, that's definitely getting played probably closer to the summer because you know after Stella Blade, it's definitely gonna be Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth. So that's probably gonna be a summertime game. So um, uh, even in Chronicles for sure. Uh, Tales of Kinzira, Zao that comes out next week Tuesday. Um, sure. Shout out to the uh, to the devs for that, man. Um, you know, definitely got to get him on. Once the game comes out and I play it, uh, I'm gonna reach yeah. out to him. And, and I like you know, I like I like their vibes too, man. They 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 will talk to people. They respond to people. I like yeah I like, yeah like yeah. And me and me and him, we uh we follow each other anyway. So I'm gonna um after the game, I, but I want to talk to him after the game comes out so that we can kind of like you know have, be more informed. You know, when, whenever we sit down to talk with him. But um yeah, Kinzira, uh Tales of Kanzira is out. That's a, that's a, that's another game. Very excited for that. Yo, listen. Um, X Defiant. Yo, listen, 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 guys. I I, I don't know why. It, shout out to shout out to Dre from Plus on Block. You know, we played it yesterday and then I ended up playing it last night as well by myself, solo for like two, three hours. Um, yo, listen, this demo, I mean it's a it's a stress test that they're doing. It was a pop-up stress test that they're doing, and uh I could definitely see some of the improvements. 
there's still certain things that I have issues with with the game. I think the movement is slightly better, right? Aim assist is slightly better. I noticed the, an improvement with it. Uh, movement and aim assist definitely are better. It definitely felt more codish, cod like, right? More snappy, more arcadey, more twitchy. I got that vibe. SMGs were pretty decent as well. I was running the MP7. Uh, I got a nice build on. I got a nice build as well um, for for my MP7. It was pretty cool. But it's these it's these heroes, man. Like what's gonna kill the game for me? It's these heroes, man. Everybody is using that Libertad chick and uh, the Echelons because the Echelons get a personal UAV that that respawns every 15 seconds, and you see everybody on the map. And then a super is where it reveals everybody, kind of like a a Blackbird or Orbital VSAT where everyone can see it. And I'm just like, yo, uh, my camera's messing up again. I'm gonna have to just keep my camera off throughout the show, bro. Um, so yeah, like that, that's, that's another one where I'm just like, yo, uh, it, it's, it's decent. I would say give the game another try. If you were somebody that were on the fence about uh, picking the game up or, or, or checking the game out, the stress test is free, it's on PlayStation. Give it another try. It's, I can see so many improvements, but I also still see a lot that they need to improve. But it's it's okay. Like I, it kept me on for a while to like really play. It's like because I think part of it too is I haven't played a first person shooter in a long time. So Defiant kind of scratched that itch. <laughs> Yo, Bobby, why are you looking? At <laughs> you just you just Defiant. hyping this game because no, uh, no, I'm not because I'm not because uh, you don't like COD no more. Oh, uh, nah, not at all, not at all, bro, not at all. That's not. I, I'm hoping Treyarch's COD is good this year. Um, but it's, it's, it's okay. It still has a lot of problems and a lot of things they need to improve. Um, but I chat, do see the chat ain't messing with it. They saying the, the class balance. Yeah, that, that was, that's you know, one of the class, biggest issues. Yeah. No, no. The class balance is definitely the biggest issue in this game. hundred percent. It, 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 it's severely imbalanced. If you're not using Libertad or the Echelons, you're going to get washed. And more, more specifically Libertad because the healing on that is so strong. It's, it's crazy. I'm surprised they still ain't uh, even like uh, you know, uh, mess with that or or adjust that yet. I know. And then last but not least, man, Final Fantasy 16, the Rise and Tide DLC. I love it. It's great. We're gonna talk about that yeah, in a little gonna, bit. We're gonna, we're gonna talk about that, man. And those uh, are my uh, and, and those are my spotlights, man. What's your uh, spotlights, bar? And are you gonna break the rules? Uh, semi break the rules a little bit. Uh, you know, spotlight games, the typical you know ones I've been spotlighting: Grand Blue Fantasy uh, Relink. You know, we're going to talk about that, you know, got some news for that later. Uh, but, yeah, I, I really would love people to get into that game, uh, you know, so we can, you know, you know, play up. Still have to do the Lucelli's boss fight as well. Uh, so that's going to be, like, brand new uh, for us getting into that. But, you know, new characters and more content is coming uh, for that game. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, you know, the vibes, best game of this generation. The best game this year. Yes, sir. The game that will have people talking. For months upon months upon months, you know what I mean? Just as far as what they can dissect out of the story, you know, what they can interpret it from the story. I feel like the conversations that's going to happen uh, with that game is going to be uh, pretty engaging. So, uh, you know, definitely get into it. Definitely play it. You know what I mean? So we can talk about it because, you know, it's over a month now. And uh, I'm, I really want to talk about the game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I there's a lot of people I respect in the community, but I really want to talk about the game, you know what I mean? So let's let's mm -hmm. get on that. Um next game I want to talk about is Stellar Blade. You know, it's coming out next week. Um super, super excited for that game. Um watching that documentary, that diary, got me even more excited just to see their their thoughts um and how the the game uh you know began, you know, from the conception level and all that stuff. So um, seeing that the questions that it was asking about humanity and, you know, AI taking off, I was like, wow, okay, so this, I think this story is going to be much deeper than I originally thought it, uh, it was going to be. So very, very excited for the story aspect. Um, just seeing how Eve is going to develop as a character and everybody surrounding her, obviously the combat and all that stuff is going to be great too. And, you know, I'm not mad, you know, seeing Eve run around on my screen. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm very, very excited for uh uh Stellar Blade. But um yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh gonna be spotlighting uh for this week. Um let us know your thoughts on any of the games that we spotlighted or any games that you want to spotlight in the chat. 
If you want to spotlight games as well, you can put it in the, the comment section after the stream is is up. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. For anybody that's new here, um, you know, welcome to the stream. Also, next weekend, episode 161, we will have John Eric Bentley, the voice actor of, of Barrett Wallace uh, for Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth on the show. We'll be we'll be talking to him, you know, asking him questions, you know, just seeing the vibes and how uh, he feel about the gaming industry or just voice acting itself. Uh, it's going to be a fun one, man, because like I said, you know, we're huge fans of Final Fantasy VII, uh, huge fans of the remake project. And uh, I think it's dope just to have one of the voice actors here on the show where we can just talk to them and, uh, you know, just have, you know, cool, you know, engaging conversations uh, about the game that we love. So. Hopefully you guys can come on through uh, next weekend um, and check that show out. He will be joining us around a little bit later. It's going to be nine his time. Uh, he'll be mm-hmm. joining us. So mm-hmm. you know, just stick, stick with us and we'll have uh, you know him on the show. Also, we're going to have a post up throughout the week. Um, if you guys have any questions that you want to ask uh, John, um, mostly pertaining towards Final Fantasy, of course, but you know, if you guys have any cool questions, whatnot, you know, we'll try to ask them as well. Bye, right, Persona, you ready to start the show, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I was going to put it that, you know, we're going to give our rising tide impressions, but we'll do that as we speak about the news um, that we have here. But I'm I, Persona. What's up? There's an elefante in the room. And I just want to talk about, about it. <laughs> it's the elefante in the room. It's the elefante in the room, and I just want to talk, to talk about, about it. <laughs> so we got some, we got some good news. We got some cool news. Don't get it twisted. I feel like this news is 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 super dope, super cool. Like we said in the Twitter space, <laughs> that people didn't listen to. <laughs> yeah, uh, but there's also some concerns as well um, with the ripple effect of some uh, uh, of of you know, features or, or news like this can happen when it pertains to the console side of things. But uh, we're going to talk about it, man. Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut, PC Crossplay, and System Requirements Revealed. Not only that was revealed, Persona, but before we get into the whole crossplay aspect of it, uh, they're talking about a PlayStation overlay that will include your friends list, your trophy, setting, and your profile. This feature will be available on Windows PCs, will be accessible uh, from the in-game menu or uh, I guess they're supposed to put from uh, keyboard uh, players, uh, uh, players by pressing the shift F1 uh, shortcut on your keyboard. So this is how the overlay is going to look within the game uh, where you do have your friends uh, tab right here. You have your trophies. So trophies is coming to PC, uh, especially when it comes to Ghost of Tsushima. Um, it's look like uh, is this your is this messages played together? Oh, this is just like friends or just people that you know, and then your own profile as well will be showing, and you also will have like an online you know indication if you're online you know busy or offline. Uh, just this first little image and this overlay persona what is your overall thoughts and how you feel about you know actual psn and trophies coming to pc with ghost of tsushima boy why did you just say that you're in favor of this i'm sorry did i just take what you said out of context (laughs) yeah you're crazy (laughs) anyway um uh, yeah, so I think, you know, when it comes to this stuff, man, honestly, you know, I, I, I think it, I like the overlay, the overlay. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you know, the fact that they're integrating uh, something like this, man, I definitely think it's, it's pretty interesting uh, to see. And I think it's pretty cool uh, the way it looks. I like the way it looks. I want to see it for myself, like in person, play around with it. But judging by the screenshots, I think the overlay looks pretty, pretty, pretty good, actually. It looks like they're changing the actual level um uh uh icon as well because mm-hmm. this is this person is level 12 and it is a goal you know what i mean so maybe on pc they being a little bit more lenient when it comes to that uh mm-hmm. 
Or maybe that just might be because look how many trophies and all that that they have. That might just be. Oh well, yeah, it is a gold. I wonder why that is a gold. That's a good. That's a good point because they only got thirty three total trophies. Oh, that, are they that, are they doing it individually for the game itself? Because they're saying, oh no, see, it says level sixty six and thirty three trophies for the game. That's unlocked already, but the overall level is twelve. But it's a gold. Mm. You know what I mean? It'd um, be interesting to see. What's up with that? Yo, shout out to uh, my man King Thrash Gaming. Shout out to Thrash Man. Uh, that's my bro right there. Uh, he says, yo, uh, do they need PSN? Uh, see this. Yeah, PSN is required uh, for yep. this. Uh, mm-hmm. Down at the bottom of the article, it's saying users who connect their existing uh, account for PlayStation Network to unlock trophies. So it goes to Shima. Director's Cut using the same account on the PS5 will have the same trophies unlock uh, on a PC version. That's one thing we we'll talk about as well. So if you log in with your PlayStation Network account on PC, you will similar effect to how, you know, Ghost of Shima, if you got the platinum for the PS4, you will get the platinum for the PS5 directors of cut right away. Uh, it will load up. So the same thing will happen here on PC. But you mm-hmm. do need a uh, PlayStation Network to utilize uh, this overlay. Uh, where is it at? Uh, oh, yeah, see, you will, you will... Uh, be required to sign into PlayStation Network account to access uh, Legends Mode. So Legends Mode, of course, is online. So mm-hmm. yeah, I feel like that's that's one of the reasons why you need a PSN account because you need that for the online, uh, you know, online crossplay stuff. Also, and the a, yeah, and the trophies. They said while you play the game, you can earn trophies just like you earn just like on the con- uh, PlayStation consoles. Ghost of Shima Director's Cut on PC shares the same trophy set as the game on PlayStation 5 console. In addition, the PC version also has full support for achievements on Steam and Epic Game Store. So you're basically like doubling up uh, mm-hmm. on here. To make uh, use of the feature like trophies and friends lists and crossplay, you can sign in with your existing account on PlayStation Network or create a new account. Uh, the the use of the PlayStation overlay is optional for both single player experience and Legends mode. Mm-hmm. So, want to talk to me? Um, yeah, you know, I I think it's you know it's interesting to see uh, PlayStation, you know, mo- uh, doing this. You know, th- this is definitely something that we've talked about in the past when it comes to like uh, putting being able to earn trophies through PC would be cool. Would be a cool thing. And so I think with something like this, having the access to your pl- a PlayStation account and getting the trophies there and getting them on Steam and all that stuff, it kind of unifies all that stuff, especially uh, with the move to PC uh, with some of their titles. So uh, I, I, you know, I think it's pretty interesting to see. Yeah, like like. But I, I, I would want to see it. Like it, it sounds good on paper, but I would actually want to see it and experience it on PC to see what it looks like how does it translate if you're a playstation owner as well if you already got the ps5 trophies does it not matter on pc like will it not be a different uh, a different uh set of trophies or, what, or whatever the case may be like i, I would yeah, just want to play trophies on the look. And, yeah yeah i would want to i would want to experience it for myself and you know see what the overlay overlay looks like and things like that um but from what i'm seeing and what playstation is saying here um it does look like it's, it's going to be a really interesting integration uh especially when it comes to their first party titles yeah like i'm i'm very curious on how it works as well as far as like how my profile trophy is going to look with ghost of shima ps4 version it would indicate that ps5 version would indicate that will the pc pop up in my in my trophy stuff as well so yeah i'm interested in that mm-hmm. so yeah i'm definitely going to double dip here well when it comes to ghosts i bought the game already two times so triple dip um uh here uh with this game because this was my favorite um like playstation like recent you know first party mm-hmm. game uh but i'm also mm-hmm. curious as to see like how this trophy stuff will work like i said i do think it's a cool implementation uh to have playstation network within the game uh itself um and it would definitely encourage uh you know playstation gamers to be like oh if you're already a pc and if you're into the trophies and whatnot, you will uh you most likely double dip and get these, you know, trophies to build up that, you know, trophy level, whatnot. Um mm-hmm. also crossplay is gonna be 
um, there for Legends mode. Uh, so you'll be able to cross play between, um, you know, console players and PC. Uh, yeah. Legends mode is, is an amazing mode. I love Legends. It's a the, great mode. The raid is amazing. Yeah. The survival shout stuff is to, amazing. Shout out to, uh, to Sick Stealth. Oh, yeah. Pio, yeah. Uh, Mr. Omar. Pio. Yeah, yeah Omar. To... Yo, we had, yo, we had. We yeah. had some we had some legendary moments uh in that legend mode. Good. Yeah, we did. Yeah, like we, we did. figured it out, you know, we had some, you know, back and forth, but we figured yeah, it out. There was, we got there it was done. actually some button of the heads, but it was it was yeah. definitely it was definitely a um it was fun. Like I love you know, I streamed Yo, you, that you know, you know what it is too, like what, when you have like Apex, I call it like PlayStation Nation, we Apex gamers. You know what I mean? Sick humor, that's an Apex gamer. Persona, that's an Apex gamer. Pio, that's an apex gamer. Myself, apex gamer. Omar, apex gamer. Everybody have our own thoughts and decisions on how we want to do things. And we just trying to implement our own thoughts and opinions rather than, all right, let's come together. But once we did do that, it, it worked and flowed and everything. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like when yeah. you have that establishment, all right, uh, you know what? You take over for this round, implement your strategy, and we'll see how it works. And yeah, yo, yeah, yeah, it took yeah. us a while, but we got there, and it was super fun. Uh, that, that, you know, the, doing the it. blood po- the blood pool section took us. Whew, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, too many hours, man. But it was fun. It was great. One hundred percent. But um, yeah, yeah I, crossplay is is always cool in my opinion. But I always have an issue when it comes to PlayStation and first party studios. Uh, and I've been saying this for years. You know what I mean? I'm going to say it again. Uh, as a platform holder, it, it just feels off that you have this requirement for PlayStation Plus to play the, these games online, and then you're putting your games on multiple platforms, and that re- the requirement is not there. Obviously, we know the requirement is not going to be on PC, right? Uh, it's never been on PC. Nobody is saying that you have to change that for PC. The The, 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 the discourse comes from it needs to be changed for the console side of things, especially if you're going to push more games on PC when it comes to online multiplayer live service stuff, that, that requirement for PlayStation plus needs to change. If you are confident enough with PlayStation plus offering all these games, um, these deals, uh, uh, you know, you know, the streaming services, all the things that PlayStation stuff offer, you know, I feel like it has, enough value there where people gamers will still stay you know tied to playstation plus well i just it just feels off to me that you have a you own a platform and on your platform there's a requirement to play games online while the other platform that you put your game on there's none it's a problem within your platform that you got to fix yeah so barry Oh, are you are you are you saying so through everything that you've just said? Are you saying that they need to charge PC gamers to play online? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely. Are you sure? Because that's what I heard. <laughs> well, if you heard that, listen, I can't help you on that one. Um, no, but, but no, I, I, I no, but all jokes aside, I agree with you one hundred percent. Right? I I think that when it comes to putting the games on PC. Like, you know, we're long past that, man. Like, nobody is, is really talking about that anymore because it's happening. Like, there is no getting around that. There is no fighting that, right? Um, but when it comes to the, the online experiences, I do think there needs to be parity um, when it comes to the accessibility, right? Uh, PC, you don't have to pay to play online, right? PlayStation, you do. That's something that I think PlayStation needs to look at and say, okay, if we are going to continue to do games as a service or put these games on PC and they don't have to pay for online, I think we need to remove that requirement on PlayStation as well, just so that everything is is in line, right? Yeah, obviously, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that play, PC needs to be charged to play online. I don't think anybody is saying that. Um, no one has ever said that. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's definitely going to be a hard thing. Uh, obviously, PlayStation don't want to do that because look how much money they make from uh, PlayStation right. Plus just having that requirement there. I'm but, just saying. Yeah, but I agree that. Stand, stand, but see, the other thing, you know, if the service is as good as is as, as they say, it should be able to stand on its own without having that that paywall exactly. behind it when it comes to online. Because it, it, it did so. it did that before in PS3. Yeah, it did you know what I mean? Yep. PS3, you know. 
Yeah, it wasn't as much as it is now, but you know, I I subscribed to PlayStation Plus because the game offerings that it was offering, and they also had the rewards. You know, they had more stuff too, the core, all that stuff. But mm-hmm. um, I I just feel like, and people can disagree with me all they want. I feel like it feels weird that you are a platform holder. You 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 manufacture a console. This is your core platform, and you have games on multiple platforms. And there's a requirement on your platform and not on the other one. I feel like you got to change that within you. But I know it's more than just what I'm saying is a bigger business deal because third party comes into play. You know, the Call of Duties, the fighting games, you need that requirement. But I'm just saying like the PlayStation, it's a PlayStation own game, their own console. There's a, there's a double cost, the game itself, the service for you to play the game online. Meanwhile, you know what I mean? I think PlayStation need to get rid of the uh, that requirement. And this is not this is not nothing new either. This is nothing new. Like if people been on the channel for years, I've been saying this for years with Predator uh, uh, Hunting Grounds, Sick Axe Core. I've been telling these people for years uh, when it came to this. You know what I mean? I just feel like it feels weird. But at the end of the day, you do have crossplay here, um, and I feel like that will that will bring some more life into the game. Uh, because like I said, Legends mode is a great mode. You can still find people playing Legends on play, um, PlayStation, but now yeah. that you have a new platform, you know this is More new people. to that platform. I mm-hmm. definitely see a lot of you know people booting, rebooting up uh, Legends just to show uh, these PC scrubs how to play uh, the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yo, they also dropped the uh, the, the the specs uh, for PC uh, Persona, um, where you have your your low. Uh, your medium, your high, and very high. This is more for you know the people, uh, the PC people, but you know they're showing it for anybody interested uh, on on getting the game for PC here. You know, if you want to get super super high up there, 4K 60 frames per second, you need that uh, that 4080 or Maybe. that uh, RX uh, 7090, oh, no. whatever they call it, <laughs> uh, 7900 XT. Yeah, 7900 XT. Uh, um and it, did they put CPU in here? Oh yeah, they do. Intel i5. My PC, I don't have a a four a four uh, four eighty. Uh, I got a thirty eighty Ti. Uh, four so I have to be able to play at uh like forty forty p sixty or a little bit higher than that. Yeah, I feel like you'll be able to play fourteen forty p sixty easily, but yeah. you can probably play fourteen forty p, you know, ninety frames 100. a second. You know, hundred yeah, yeah as well. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, your CPU pretty much destroys this. Yep. Pretty much. But yeah, 75 gigs of space um, uh, for it too. It also supports ultra wide monitors. So anybody that have those monitors, you know what I mean? I think Ghost of Shimo would look great on a monitor like that. Ultra wide? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. I do think it would. That's going to look good. Even my, on, my 4K, on my 4K monitor, it should look good. This this one I'm definitely going to uh definitely gonna pick up for sure on PC. Oh, the NVIDIA uh, DLSS3 uh, mm-hmm. or the AMD FSR3 where you can, you know, boost the frame rate. So you probably play even higher than 90, higher. probably 120. Mm-hmm. And it also yep. supports the DualSense uh, controller with hacked feedbacks and adaptive trigger, which is just one of the best games uh, that uses, uh, you know, the features. But yeah, this is, this is Ghost of Shima coming uh, to uh, PC and PlayStation Network. Um, coming to PC as well. When it comes to the future of, uh, you know, PlayStation putting their games on PC, do you see more games implementing uh, this overlay uh, within it? Or you see, like, even older games implementing this this overlay, like Spider-Man, God of War, you know, incorporating this uh, in a later update or whatnot? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I think, um, I think this is definitely the test. Ghost of Tsushima is the test when it comes to um, this overlay. But I definitely see future PlayStation first party titles or even PlayStation partnered titles that release on PC to have this feature as well. Um, in terms of going back to older games and doing it, mm, maybe for like Helldivers 2, I can see it. But probably not for like God of War or... Well, you know what? Let me not say that. Maybe. Maybe. Right now, I see it more as like a future plan as opposed to retroactive for the games that's already there. But we'll see. Yeah, I feel like I feel like any upcoming new games 
uh, from PlayStation Studios going into it is going to have this overlay. But yeah, I do feel like the the older games they should they should update them too. Yep. Yeah, because I yep. I know I got I got a few uh, you know PlayStation joints that you know I definitely uh, <laughs> you know what I mean tie my PSN to get them trophies again. Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. That's a cut. Triple up on those. For absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Man. So yeah, that is the PlayStation trophies uh, coming to PC, man. Listen, PlayStation, I need you to smarten up. Okay? Listen to me. Don't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to get mad at that one right there. Sorry, don't listen, don't listen to them, man. Listen to me, okay? okay. I, I know what's going down. Look, look, look at me. Yeah, I'm, look I'm, at me. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the captain now. I'm the captain. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, gonna I mean, clip the yeah oh, facts. <laughs> Yo, also we got some updates on man Uncle Shu. Uncle yes, Shu out here doing the Lord's work. Updates on new indie titles coming to PlayStation. So there's three indie titles that uh Uncle Shu over here, Shu Yoshida, is talking about. Uh where he's highlighting these indies. I like I like these articles uh where they do highlight the indie games. Uh, cause I do see, you know, a lot of people giving a lot of indie games, um, you know, they, they, uh, try, you know, uh, and a lot of people's talking about them. So the first game we have here is the darkest dungeon Two, coming July 15th, uh, to PlayStation red hook studios return with the sequel to the darkest dungeon, uh, two series, uh, the darkest dungeon series. This time fans will be treated to a new 3d art style with full character animations, the signature challenge. Uh, of the managing uh, stress and bringing out uh, the hidden talents of your heroes is still at the core. But this time, the journey will be a rogue-like. Uh, take a ride in a stagecoach across the bleak world in hopes of surviving long enough to find salvation. This is the Darkest Dungeon 2. Something interesting, Soda, by reading that uh, description? I'm looking at the trailer. It looks uh, It looks pretty okay. Um, I get um Oregon Trail vibes from this. Oregon, yeah, Oregon Trail is old school, bro. What? I gotta look at because you you do the stage coach, ain't you? You you on the stage coach the whole time? Oh no, I see the the turn base. I right, never mind. I mean, the it looks like so you challenging through it. You yeah. traveling through the world. Whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks all right. I'm good all right. though. All right. So the <laughs> next game we have here is Five Night. Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2 coming June 20th. So the popular series uh, with the nail-biting delight on a PlayStation VR 2. We know uh, more fans wanted to experience the survival horror. Uh, so uh, Steel Wool Studios uh, will, is bringing it to the PS5. All the games found in VR version have been uh, adapted to utilize the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller to provide immersive experiences. So anyone willing to find out a job app to find out a job application can play any way they choose. Uh, they choose. Mm. Interesting. This I'm one. Good. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah. good. I'm good. I'm good. Yo, Jack, what up, bro? He said, yo, uh, we have a few announcements away from changing it to What's Up PC Podcast. <laughs> hey, man, listen, we oh, getting man. more PC news than, uh, you know, we got oh, it's, place, it's, it's about the brand now, uh, Jack, you know, that's what crazy they say. Out here, man. You know, crazy. us console gamers, you know, shouldn't talk about just the console or, or shouldn't speak about just the console or share our opinions about the console, even crazy. though it's our preferred platform. You know what I mean? Uh, the next game we have here is V Rising coming 2024. So no date on this one, Persona. No date. But this is, I think, the one that showed at Jeff Keighley's show. After sleeping uh, for centuries, awake, uh, awake at vampire sleek, uh, seeking to bring back glory, to bring back the glory days of the vampire kingdom in this title. A mix of action, RPG, and survival. Players mm. must battle the Church of Luminance. And even the king of vampires himself, Dracula, since his defeat uh, many moons ago. Some, vamp some vampires feel uh, he is no longer fit to rule and seek to build a new kingdom. Get your combat skills ready for this adventure from Yo, this Stun looks Lock good. Studios. 
Yo, this yeah, looks really this, good. This one look this one looks good. This one looks good for real. Yeah, I'm gonna pick this up. That looks, uh, that looks good. Was it Jeff Keeley show? Yeah, I think I think Jeff Keeley show they showed this one. Maybe. It's one of the shows, and I was like, oh, this looks this looks pretty cool. It it, it looked like uh the oh, Diablo okay. type of yeah, top Diablo, down, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This it looks really cool. good. Yeah, I like I like this. This looks this looks really good. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna snatch that up. Yeah, so this is a nice little highlight here of indie games. You guys are interested. You know, shout out Uncle Shu. Uh, let Shu know too, man. Hey, Shu, man, keep keep pumping out these articles. Uh, but yeah, these are the indie games uh, coming to PlayStation uh, very, very soon. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. All right, Persona, we're moving on, man. We got some Final Fantasy 16 to talk about. Where we got some Final Fantasy news, man. Uh, so Final Fantasy 16, new update, 1.31. Uh, it's now like, oh, we just had a uh, super chat. Let me get this super chat real quick. Uh, super chat from Braxton, bruh. My man Braxton, bruh. He said, if that rumor showcase happens next month, what uh, would Sony need to show in order to address some of these worries you have about PlayStation? Yo, really truly, I don't really have any worries about PlayStation. I what love is PlayStation. What is the question? Uh, oh, if if, if, if yeah. the rumors is true, my only my only concern for PlayStation is what is going on with uh, first party studios. We see we hear more about stu- games, um, you know, uh, you know, stopping development than the the new games from first party studios. And also, mm-hmm. I just have a certain uh, stance when it comes to the whole, you know, platform holder multiple platform games for an online game. And mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I don't I'm not saying that everybody got shared my opinion or, or or belief what I'm saying. I just say I just think for me, it just looks weird. <laughs> you know what I mean? As, Yo, a, my, as, a, real, as somebody real, that games on a console, you know, every day. But go ahead. Not real talk. Yo, if they're doing any type of showcase next month or this year, there needs to be a stronger um a, a stronger first party presentation for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's I, the biggest I, concern. That's my, yeah. yeah, that's my that's my biggest thing. You know, I see all the partnerships and all this other stuff you're doing and timed exclusive this and then blah blah blah. I need to see first party first and foremost, front and center. Um that's that that's in any type of showcase, showcase level show that PlayStation is doing this year. First party. That's where I would want there to be a, a big showing. Or and I'm not saying reveal your entire hand you know you don't need to show every single studio but you know like i said before three four projects show those off i feel like that's adequate you know because it's still you know they have everything else around it yeah yeah for sure you know what i mean especially when you have like a critically critically acclaimed studio like naughty dog and they had, the last announcement for them was oh our game got canceled Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you gotta show you gotta show your stuff. Yo, thanks, yo. You, know you gotta I mean? show so something, man. That is that is the only real concern I have uh when it comes to PlayStation. I think PlayStation brand is strong. I just don't want to see the strength of the PlayStation brand diminish due to multi platform, you know, implementations. Um and I just feel like when it comes to the console side of things, uh, you know, some of the moves that they have they're doing it makes the console not look as attractive as the other platform. So somebody that mainly games and prefer this platform of choice, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to speak out like, yeah, I need I need certain things to be changed where I feel like it's equal across the board uh, when it comes to your multi-platform, uh, you know, decisions. I, I don't yeah. I don't feel like it's equal across the board, you know what I mean? When it comes to the multi-platform, the console gamer just pays much, 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 much more money. They 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 need mm-hmm. much more money from the console gamer. Not saying yep. that I hate the console gaming. I love console gaming. I love console gaming and I want to stay console gaming. So I want it to, you know, uh better when it comes to the console side of things. I have a PC. I can play games on PC if I wanted to. You know what I mean? But a decision like that, the trophy stuff can definitely have me, you know, uh, you know, gaming on PC uh, even more because mm-hmm. You one of the things that one and, of the things that tied me to the consoles, the trophies you're gonna have done the PCs, yeah. and that's what mm-hmm. we spoke about uh, in the space. But you know, if you didn't listen, to <laughs> if you didn't listen to it, you would have get that. But let's talk about some Final Fantasy, uh, you know, seven, uh, not seven, uh, sixteen, uh, where there's a new update that came. 
Uh, so here's some of the quick uh, notes here. Uh, uh, quick completion side quest function. Uh, custom controller type. Big, big update where you can customize your layouts now uh, for your controller. The PlayStation um, DualSense Edge was a big, uh, you know, uh, key component here uh, when it came to 16 for me because I was changing out my layouts with the bat buttons and some of the stuff to uh-huh. just to play 16. Uh-huh. But now you can actually do that within the DualSense. Uh, save up to five skill sets. This is really cool. I got three. I didn't really need five, but, you know, I, I, I made three uh, earlier uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, this is, this is dope. What would be what would be really really cool if you can quickly switch in combat? Uh, yeah, swap to the different different modes, the yeah, different ones. Yeah, that would require be... another button. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. I, I get why they didn't do it. But I mm-hmm. think that would be cool. Um, additional photo mode functionality. They have more stuff here, but yo, stuff got nerfed. Uh, Persona. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> looking at the uh, the abilities, man. They they definitely reduced some stuff, buff some stuff. Yeah, I think yeah. certain stuff here that definitely should have been like rhyme. I thought rhyme didn't do enough damage. So yo, that, rhyme, that rhyme did a damage increase. Yo, I'm happy that they they buffed some of the stuff when it came to the Shiva stuff because rhyme, like the damage, I wasn't really worried about. It was the draw on the enemies, and they buffed that. So I because I, I had a crazy combo uh, with with Shiva up in the air when I use rhyme and I can continue it. But it wasn't as consistent because if they was like certain enemies was too far, they wouldn't get pulled. And well, I'm going to test this out uh, later on today. But yo, mm-hmm. satellite Bahamut stuff got nerfed up a little bit, man. <laughs> they yeah, got nerfed man. up. Damage wise, uh, flare breath uh, got damage increased. I don't know why people was definitely using. I mean, people wasn't really using like that. Uh, Earth and Fury. I feel like this. This is a this is a big update here. Because, yeah, I don't think nobody used this move, the nobody recast really time. Using a, yeah, it was too long of a recast and stuff like that. That's something I noticed because I use, um, I think Gouge is, um, isn't that? Uh, Garuda. No, That's Gouge Garuda. is Garuda, Garuda. Yeah. I noticed that yesterday when I, was, uh, when I was playing that Gouge was definitely doing a little bit more damage, coming back a little bit faster. They buffed this up. You know, you know why they did a lot of these buffs? Because they said the difficulty um, has increased. Uh, for Rising Tide. So yeah, they, they def- buffing a lot of stuff. Has, like they doing a lot more damage and all that. It definitely has increased. I was fighting a Coral yesterday, and he actually washed me up. <laughs> I was like, hold up, bro. Like, I mean, granted, I haven't played 16 in a minute, and going you know, from 7 to Dragon's Dogma to 16, it's kind of an adjustment. So like, it took me a while to really adjust to like getting my dodges on point and everything else. But uh, I, I, I do appreciate some of these increases here. Uh, flare breath. That was a broken move. I didn't but really use it that much. I didn't use it that much either. It was too but slow it, for me. I, I'm, I'm, it was too slow, but it did some decent damage. But I'm glad to see that they buffed the damage on that as well. Zanze, not Zanzekin. Yo, this uh, is a Zanzek, big update Zanzek, right here. Flare Zanzek? breath. It now yeah. knocks the enemy up instead of back. That's a good thing, and mm. uh, it can be canceled. And Gunger. It, it, for for Odin, because Zanzesukin is good, but Gunger took too it was too slow. Like yeah, yeah. Odin's moves were very situational. You gotta be very and specific. I felt like, yeah, it's very, very situational. And the recast time on them, it made it made putting Odin's moves into your combos not as effective Ooh. because Odin's abilities are too methodical. You have to be a little bit a little bit more slow paced, slow, a little bit more slower with, with Odin's abilities, but I think with the Gunger, Gunger ability, which is the um, the multi slash, yeah, the slashing joint. Um, the fact that the recast time on that is reduced, I think that's gonna make it. And the damage is increased because that was another thing with Odin. A lot of his abilities aren't really big damage dealing moves outside, outside of Zanzesikin. Yeah, that's the that's Zanzesikin, the killer right there. Yeah, Zanzesikin is really if you if you if you play it right, it could be a one shot. So. Zanzesikin was really the big damage move, but the abilities that you had to use to get up to Zanzesikin weren't really that effective. So I like that they increased the, they reduced the cast time and increased the damage. I think that's really, really good. This was my move right here, uh, Heaven's Cloud. Now you can, you can, uh, the following attacks uh, can be focused on a single enemy by locking it to them. That's dope right there because there's times where enemies was too far and you will miss that follow up 
where mm-hmm. the is completely not due to the the, the count for the Zetsukin. Uh, mm-hmm. But now you can just focus on one enemy and just continue that that follow up. That's dope. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you look yeah, at all of, the recast time a lot for of, a lot of, a lot of moves. Good, yeah, a lot of these moves got some good buffs. I'm definitely gonna yeah. play around with some of my builds today because uh, I want to see how these moves kind of fit into. Because you know my root, my 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 rotation of damage once I get you in stagger is crazy. But uh, I want to see how these other moves kind of fare versus my my main setup when it comes to like stagger moves and abilities and whatnot. Yeah, I'm 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 all for this. The only thing I wish they would have updated in this update is an actual run prompt. You know, what I mean that auto run still throw me off, but it, it's yeah. gonna take a while um to get used to 16 because it's such a huge. It's a different game than yeah. seven. Yeah. 300 hours of seven to going back into 16. I'm like, I'm a lot. Like, Whoa, what the hell is going it's on? It's jarring, you know what bro. I mean? so, it's so jarring, bro. Like real talk. It's gonna take me a little bit, but uh, you know, it's 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 cool though to be back in that world. Yo, sure. One one thing too, I can I can say this, man. This is not being me being biased. I can appreciate seven rebirth performance because coming back to sixteen is I can see some of the dips even more now. Uh, especially going into like certain cutscenes, I'll see like some of the, the dips there with a the frame rate and it picks back up. Where mm-hmm. like I feel like with seven man, it was that shit was that jump was a steady man. It was steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's but, crazy. Um, yeah, one, I, of, I, one, I, of the, one of the most like the things that I love the most about this update that they did that quick that quest quick complete. Yo, oh man, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Love, I yeah. love that, bro. I love that, man. I, that I, is that is the quality of life. I love <laughs> I love the fact that, that w- this update is really really cool. By the way, um, uh, the rising tides. Is 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 amazing so far how it's starting. Two one thing they already tackled, right? In this game, there was a lot of uh uh, uh criticism when it came to you know colored people being in the game. And the the first character that you kind of meet, uh Shula. I don't want to say it that way. No, nah, I mean that's what they say, right? That's what they're saying. I'm not gonna say black people, but it's more than just you know black people. Uh, yeah, go ahead. but Shula, you can tell she got like a she got some, oh yeah, Shula got some mocha I mean? on her. Oh, yeah, yeah she got some color to her, and a lot the, of the people in that in that area, Miss Sonia. Yeah, Missonia that's what I'm saying, and yo, and nothing, yo, going into nothing, that nothing, going, nothing. Into that, going into that section of the game, have me missing the, the the clear and blue skies, yo. You know what I mean? Because you know when you beat the game, you end the game. You know everything is just like cloudy skies or whatnot. It definitely has mm-hmm. a certain hue to the game, but seeing that 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 brightness and that that vibrantness is of the game is just like wow, man. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy 16 is a beautiful game, bro. Very beautiful. Very this beautiful area is game. gorgeous, man. Yeah, uh, but yeah. yeah, really, really, I I love the hell out of 16. You know, I feel like you can enjoy and love both games. Uh they they definitely cater to different audiences, but 16 is such an amazing game too, man. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm I'm dying to see the story with Clive and everyone again, um, and seeing what's going on in this world because. You know, I seen some stuff on uh, on Twitter. You know, some people putting up their spoilers. They, they don't care about spoilers no more. Uh, and it definitely looks cool, man. The abilities that I'm seeing is looking is looking very very cool. So, mm-hmm. facts. Yeah, we back in we back on 16. Uh, pretty much, you know, this weekend or whatnot. Yes, so sir. I'll be I'll be yes, going sir. through 16 and Rise of Ronin this weekend. Yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah. very it's very exciting. Well, I'm gonna be my, my, my setup as well. Uh, but yeah, in terms of uh in terms of like the DLC, uh, you know, I, I think it's I think it's great, man. Like the you know, have you you have you gotten Leviathan's abilities yet? No, no, no. I didn't get to Leviathan's ability. I got oh, to man. I got to the actual town area and I stopped yeah. it there because I was like, you know what? Yo. I'm coming back to this right after the podcast and now Yeah, I'll- yeah, yeah. Yo, listen, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, especially his ultimate, Leviathan's ultimate is really, really good, man. I, I, I love it. I like it. I like his abilities a lot, and it actually fits well into my setup because I ended up changing up Gouge with one of his, um, like, shooting moves that he does, one of his shooting abilities. Excuse me. That does a lot of good stagger, good pressure damage, and, uh, you know, I like it. And then, you know, it's the combat, you know, 16 combat is good. I like Shula as a character as well. She's really cool. A lot of the people in the village, I think, are really dope as well. Um, some of those side missions are pretty interesting, pretty cool. Um, traveling that world, the music is good. Combat with the enemies, 
fighting I fought my first uh um uh yo, it just slipped my mind. Uh Tom I fought my first Tom Berry. Mm. Very, 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 very spooky. <laughs> I ain't gonna spoil it. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like the DLC so far. I like what they did with this man. And the story, the story is actually really, really interesting as well. Like I I I like the premise of what they're going for when it comes to Leviathan and his dot and his dominant. Um yeah, it's gonna be cool. I, I I like it so far. I'm 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 locked in. I'm interested. Yeah, to 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 I'm yeah I I can't wait to. So you get Leviathan pretty early. His ability is pretty early then. You you get it like the first, literally you get it like the first like thirty minutes of the game, forty five minutes. Because mm, gotcha. the first because once you get to the town, the next mission you do with Shula, that's going to get you the abilities, but you only get part of his abilities. Mm, okay. Yeah. But to to go back to the whole uh trophies uh coming to PC stuff, uh we did have a poll up here uh for you guys uh, and, and and ladies to vote up. So I'm going to end the poll right now. And um out of 210 votes or 11 votes, uh the question was asked, uh trophies coming to PC, how do you feel about that? Great move, 32%. Uh questionable, 31%. I hate this move, 26%. I'm double dipping on trophies, 9%. Kind of a mixed bag a little bit there, uh, Persona. That's definitely a mixed bag if I ever <laughs> saw one. That's like, that's like having uh, chicken, bread, and bleach in the same grocery bag. That's a very <laughs> mixed bag right there, man. <laughs> Hell, whoever pack your bags like that, don't, don't pack your bags like that. Don't be mixing your, uh, yeah, do not put the your cleaning products, products with, your, uh, with your food. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Uh, no, this is... um. I'm not I'm not surprised by this, man. You know, and I do think the great move part, I'm I'm interested to see those people. Those people that say I would love to know who agree, like who said it was a great move. Um that'd be very interesting. I think to see, I think it's a, I think it's a cool move. Um, yeah, it's a cool move. Great, I think is I don't know, great. I don't I wouldn't say great. I would say, yeah, it's a cool move. Yeah. But yeah, um, if I can see another platinum of Ghost of Shima on my profile, yeah, it's a great move. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, I might, yeah. I'm, I'm in that ballpark with a great move, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, yeah. But all right, let's move it along, man, because we got some Grand Blue Fantasy uh, Relink to talk about, where version uh, 1.20 of Relink arrives April 26th. Uh, tune Jeez, in for Grand Blue. Much, <laughs> it's a lot, it's a lot much, man. Bro. They did have wow. the roadmap letting people know though. Nah, they uh, did. Yeah, they tune did. into Grand Blue uh showcase uh relink part three on the stream April twenty fifth uh for the deep dive uh into the content for the next update. So yeah, this is gonna be a very, very popular update. You got two characters, uh the Eternals coming to Relink. Uh so they come into Fan Fante Grande. Uh well no, Fante Grande is the original one. They're coming to the new, uh, you know, Sky Realm. And Siophon, this guy right here, he's the leader of the Eternals. And you got Tween. Uh, she's a part of the Eternals. Uh, I feel like a lot of people is going to like Siophon. I uh, got a lot of weapons. He's uh, definitely is the one I want to try, Siophon, for sure. Yeah, a lot of weapons uh, that he can use. Um, he's like a master for a whole bunch of weapons. Uh, that's like the the the... the the gist of like the Eternals, they they got like the best weapons. They're like considered the best Skyfarers in the in the in the realms. Um, and yeah, they do all the hard tackling, you know, uh, you know, bouts and fights. I feel like uh, Twin is going to be really strong too because range characters we see in Relink is very very strong. Yo, they are the Raccoons, broken. In the the Oigen, they are very very strong. So I want to see what they're going to do with Twin, man. But Persona, a lot of content, a lot of gaming. April 26th, next week. <laughs> on on, on, on yeah, Thanksgiving I Day. I can't, I can't keep up, man. I'm going to be honest, man. I can't keep up. But, uh, yeah, this this DLC is definitely, you know, something that has me really, or, or I should say, an uh, update has me really excited because I, I definitely wanted to try Sea of Fawn in Grand Blue Relink as well. So, uh, and plus Lucelius, man, like, I got to get back and, and, and defeat Lucelius, man. That's been hanging over my head as well. You know, my 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 Siegfried, he he's like, bro, where you at, man? We need to get at Lucelius, man. We need to, you know, we need to get these levels, get these, get these moves. So um it'll be interesting. But 
Stella Blade, man. I'm gonna be honest. Stella Blade takes priority on the 26, but we definitely need to set up yo, some bird, time. Bird say, back. yo, Bo, you the, yeah. <laughs> we Shout definitely need to set up some time and uh and get back into Grand Blue and and, and fight Lucellius. And I want to try uh, Siphon as well. Yo, Ng the atheist says the more money PlayStation make, uh, better game, better for gamers. How long will we gatekeep these? Uh, PlayStation games. Uh, these are old games. First and foremost, uh, I don't, sorry, I don't, uh, a person. Nobody's gatekeeping any game. Who who is out here saying that you can't buy a PlayStation game? It seems like uh, what I learned this week is more PC gamers gatekeeping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I want more people to buy in PlayStation games and buy into PlayStation because that makes the platform better, right? Um, but at the end of the day. I will say this. All the PC moves that we are seeing, I'm not seeing a benefit of a console gamer from that. You know what I mean? I'm seeing games being canceled. I'm seeing we're cooking. I'm seeing we ain't getting no information about the, the studios and developers that we love. Facts. So I'm just saying, Facts. like, where where oh, everybody been saying that yo, Jack just said it right there for me. That's said it right. Like three years. What better games have we that's done? Exactly. That's exactly. Where, where? That's what I'm saying. Point, you know what I mean? That argument. That argument. Don't like. I. I people use that argument, and I, and and it don't make no sense to me because it's like, yeah. yo, I'm not saying that don't buy no games. I. I I've never said that. Nobody gatekeeping. Time, what benefits? Games. What benefits from a first party perspective are you seeing when we really don't know what first party's doing? We know more about what's coming to PC and cancel games than exactly. what's coming out in the next two years for PlayStation. No one in here can tell you what's coming out in the next two years from PlayStation first party. Yeah. But keep telling you it's not that, it, it, you know, it, they're cooking. I don't, I don't want to have you this got, conversation. You, you, you all is questioning <laughs> I, the I PlayStation. You all are plus questioning the PlayStation gamer. Me, why don't you question the people that didn't buy a PS4 to play these amazing games, not buying a PS5 to play these amazing games? You know what I mean? Nobody's gatekeeping them. Not saying that you can't wait, not you, you're going to purchase every game, but you have the option mm -hmm. to go out to the store and purchase these games. Nobody's stopping you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But we're not going to uh, die for oh, yeah, I don't. I, yeah, I don't want to go down that road. It's fine. <laughs> no, but yeah, the end, Grand at, Blue. At the, end of, at the end of the day, Play your games wherever you want. Buy whatever you want. Like, like we're you're all free to do whatever you want, man. Like that's 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 what that's what it is. I think yeah, yeah, day, yeah. I mean, I, I, I back to Grand Blue, man. So yeah, the Grand Blue. I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm I I I can't wait to to play with Siphon. I'm definitely gonna try out Siphon. I'm I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm very yeah. Very excited I, I, I I I I need that Grand Blue. That Grand Blue itch is definitely there. Um, so I definitely wanna be you know tapping in foot dipping it back and forth uh with it because you know we already got a plan to the game yes oh, sir wait 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 bar, hold up bar you got a platinum in a game sir. now sir i've been told that you don't play no games you are out here getting platinums in and action rpgs over 200 hours first final fantasy now got grand blue don't next thing you're gonna tell me you got the spider-man 2 platinum uh, I, I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I, I do. Uh, but I ain't a platinum. I ain't a. I ain't a trophy hunter though. You know what I mean? I just you just got twelve thousand like. trophies. You just got twelve thousand trophies. You know, that's something, I mean. something like that's light. Like, you know what I mean? Something Compared like. to a lot of people. Shout out to my man Sick. I know Sick over there. I mean, got like, like sixteen thousand. Yeah. <laughs> sick, sick. That's that boy, man. Shout out to Sick. All right, so we got some uh, some bad news to talk about. Uh oh, yeah, I got over like two hundred some hours in Grand Blue. I love the I love the fuck out of that game. Sorry, <laughs> but um, take two interactive, oh, including Rockstar, Two K, and the private division just announced it will be laying off about five percent of its workforce, cancel games, and ending projects. Mm. Persona. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. With all the success with these games, Take Two is a big, big uh, publisher. You know, big studios over there. Still, most layoffs. of the games are multi-platform as well. 
multi-platform, multiplayer, mm -hmm. live mm -hmm. service, microtransactions, microtransactions, continued one revenue. Of the most, one, of the most, one of the most successful games in the history of gaming with Grand Theft Auto V. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Still getting hit with layoffs out here, man. What is going on in the gaming industry? Well, Bari, maybe the game should have been in a service. I mean, they, some of them were. <laughs> they were. Oh, you're right. I don't know. Some of them, some of them went into it. 2K, NBA 2K. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 and the, Actually, the wrestling games. Was in, a, in, in, in a service, I think, right? Yeah, wrestling games going there. Um, I mean, it's 5%. I don't know how large 2K is, but if, I, if, if they're over... Take two. Thousand, take yeah, two. Uh, yeah, take two. If they're over mm -hmm. a thousand. I'm pretty sure they're over a thousand, two thousand people. Five percent is still nah. Yeah, I, I would definitely you know, think it's. I definitely think it's more than. I think it's probably like five thousand or, or more. I, I, yo, take two is take two is pretty big. Pause. I would say they probably got like a five thousand dev studio or something. Matter of fact, let me look that up. Yeah, look, look that, that up. up. Now, so, yeah, five percent is still. You know, when you when you look at this article, it's only five percent. But you look at much people they got. Yeah, it's pretty. You up in the hundreds. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Help people get laid off. And this is uh, across so, this is across the board too of these three. Uh okay, so as of twenty twenty three, the number of employees at Take Two is eleven thousand five hundred and eighty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So as of twenty twenty three. Eleven thousand five hundred and eighty. So five percent. You're looking of close that. to about hundred people. Mm -hmm. All jobs getting uh, you know, laid off there. But yeah, man, uh, it just sucks. Just gotta talk about it because it's something that has been nah, happening. Hundred? No, we talking five hundred, almost six hundred jobs cut. Oh really? Five percent? Yeah, five percent. Yeah, five percent of eleven thousand five hundred and eighty is five seventy nine. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, 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 right. Oh yeah, almost six hundred jobs cut. It's crazy. This this is why I use a calculator and then, when and I then, work. <laughs> and, and and then uh cancel games and projects man i wonder what those projects were and if one of those projects was the warriors i'd be hurt i'd be devastated i would oh, love it's a on the, it's on remake. the them right uh well yeah well because rockstar. rockstar yeah okay yeah rockstar so i'm like you know a warriors remake a, a bully 2 you know if those were one of the games that were canceled i feel like Bu bully's probably one of them you know probably, because now yeah. that you have grand theft Auto six coming out. What's the point of having like a bully game while that game is out? Kinda, uh, nah, man. Still do bully, man. Do warriors. Midnight Club Dub Edition two. You feel me? You think Midnight <laughs> Club would do good uh, in this day and age? I I, do. I, I love I do. Midnight. I love Midnight, I Midnight Club, Club more than Need for Speed. To be honest with you, but what those edition, type of games do it. good though? Because even Need for I, Speed had type of some type of resurgence, but we didn't really see like a a bang of success for it. I think I think a new Midnight Club would do great. Cars real big, house real big, everything big. We do yo the music yo Midnight Club Double Edition was such a fire game, yo. Yo, you I remember that on the uh, uh, on Club the PSP game. and the loading for that joint? Yeah, oh yeah, my, yeah. yo, you heard your little UMD disc? Yo, I thought my UM, I thought my PSP was going to break with that Double Edition. I ain't going to hold you cuz I I was playing a lot of like RPGs on my PSP like Yeez and all that and then when i put in double edition and that loading was long as hell I was like, what the hell going on is i i think a new midnight club would do good i'd buy it i'd play the hell out of it i love midnight club but persona you love everything man yeah i mean that's your problem yeah. right there yeah yeah that's what they say right barry we 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 love too many games you know which is weird you know what i mean a, a new midnight club would be ass right <laughs> nah chill it'd be great i think it, i think a new midnight club would be great man I, I i would definitely i'd pick it up i'd play it for sure a new midnight club for sure i would hmm. we'll see did you play new new speed we're not talking about need for speed <laughs> <laughs> Got the, last, you. the last need for speed i played was uh the one before that i forgot the name of it Got i didn't buy this new, new need for speed that came out though i didn't they're gonna clip that <laughs> they gonna clip that boy right, here's something that needs to be clipped uh oh they got an explanation here about the uh, Star Wars Outlaws Jabba's Gambit mission 
Uh, it's the only, it's only an optional bonus quest for season pass buyers says Ubisoft to clarify job of the hunt and the hunt cartel are one of the main syndicates in star Wars outlaws. It, it, and will be a part of the experience for everyone who purchases the game, regardless of edition. Uh, then you have, you know, this explanation here for players that stick with the standard edition, the bonus quests like uh, these to have been common in other Ubisoft game at launch in the past, like uh, the 40 thieves in Assassin's Creed Mirage and the blind King in Odyssey will become available for free in the game later, assuming the same, assuming the same will likely happen here. So they pretty much what they're saying is that the Jabba the Hunt, uh gambits uh jabba's gambit mission that season pass holders will get right away the people that don't have the season pass you'll still get that mission but you won't get it right away it will come down later down the line similar to how the other games you know 40 thieves uh for Assassin's creed and uh the blind king and odyssey is that so is that bad is that a bad practice persona is that a bad thing for ubisoft to incentivize uh their their season pass buyers or to give the season pass buyers, you know, that content, uh, you know, earlier than the regular people that only got $60. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can answer this bar. Cause you know, I spent $130 for the ultimate edition of the game. So none of this oh, affects me at all. Big facts. So, big facts. um, for me personally, um, I, I really, I think they just need to do a better job of just explaining stuff, right? But yeah, it's, it's too you know, it's too my, muddy. But they wouldn't they wouldn't show anything like I didn't I never got the uh, thought that like Job of the Hut's crew wouldn't be in the game because they showed it in the story trailer. Why would you show something that would be excluded from majority of the people that would buy the base version of the game? That just doesn't make that's a good point too much sense to me. I feel like if it was something extra, they would show it at the end, pre order and get. Kind of, you know how like Call of Duty, whenever they want you to get the Ultimate Edition, pre-order and get this skin and this weapon or whatever. I feel like Ubisoft does the same thing whenever they do their stuff where it's like, oh, you know, if there's an extra mission or a bonus mission, pre-order now the Ultimate Edition and get this exclusive mission where you get to fight Jabba the Hutt in this place. Pre-order now. Pre-order now. You know, like, I, I just never got that vibe, but I do think to just prevent stuff like this from happening in the future, I think the companies just need to be... they. <laughs> For lack of a better term, they need to go PBS mode. I think that's what they think. Just, just be more transparent. Go PBS mode. So you go here, you click this, and you do that. And when you point there, you see that. They, you just have to, man. And and it sucks that it, it's it's like this, but this is what you have to do. So just be more clear, be more transparent, and when in doubt, go PBS. It's how I feel about this, you know, especially after the explanation. Um. Yeah, I do feel like a mission like that should be for everyone that purchased the game because you have Jabba in, in the key art, <laughs> you have him in the trailer, and that's but all for better. Say, but wait, wait, wait! But aren't they saying that you'll still have the mission just later? Yeah, I, I know. I'm saying like it should be there for everyone at the same date. What I'm continuing to say is that with a season pass, it's all for better content, all for you know other content. You know what I mean? Why you want to tie? Why you want to tie a you know Jabba mission, uh you know to a time thing, mm. uh you know uh, to the season pass, you know just offer more or better content, you know offer a different mission or something outside of that, you know the mm -hmm. skins and all that stuff or costumes or outfits. Yep. I, I just find it weird that you have this Jabba the Hunt, a popular character, especially in the time period this game is taking place. You tease. Han Solo, you know, being iced and all that stuff, and you know, <laughs> you're going to be like, yo, you need to see the pass of this this edition if you want to play this right away. Uh, but if you want to, if you I don't want to play probably right doing away. That, you know, and again, like, you know, I agree. I do think that, you know, it should be something that's there for everybody, but, you know, I think it, it's that incentive, right? They're trying to build some type of incentive. Yeah, I, I, get, I get the business. The uh, pass and all that stuff, so I think that's part of why. Um, I, I could see somebody like that doesn't want to different. buy that. No, I agree. Like, you know, someone not wanting to buy that, I could definitely see them having an issue with that, having to spend that much money. So, yeah. But mm. that is the yo, Ubisoft. Shout out, yo, shout out to J Roman man, gifting one membership, and shout out to Mash Produce becoming a member of the Wubs Nation. We appreciate you. And the shout out to Viper Reese, man, for the super chat. He says, 
pick a stance, man. Do you like too many games or do you even play games at all? I'm confused. LOL. Well, uh, Viper, I don't like playing games. I hate video games. I just come on here because I want to uh, cater uh, to the PlayStation, you know, nation. I don't like PlayStation. I just, I'm just here because, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a bag. You know, I'm trying to get more I, interviews. <laughs> I just want free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's why, I, that's why I'm here. I pretend to love games because I want free stuff. I'm not, I'm not authentic at all. Uh, in my approach, all the stuff that I, you know, the passion and, and video game talk, that's all fake. Just letting you know. Okay. The Platinums, those are Photoshop. Yeah, that's not mine. I stole that from a friend. <laughs> uh, yo, this is a funny news right here, uh, Persona. We're not funny. It's kind of uh, <laughs> uh, strange, in my opinion. Sony is reporting. Uh, this is a rumor, by the way. Sony is in talk. Uh, and, and purchasing Paramount. Uh, so they putting their bid out there. And shout out to, uh, you know, Push Square for putting out the article. New York Times put out the tweet. Sony Pictures Entertainment and Apollo Global Management Investment Firm have been in discussion and teaming up for a joint bid to acquire Paramount. Uh, the people familiar uh, with the situation said Thursday. How do you feel about this? This Yo, Bar, you're a funny guy, bro. <laughs> How do you feel you said, about this you said, quote? What's you, said power, you said Paramount. It's oh, Paramount. Oh, Paramount. 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 Yeah, Paramount. What I was said? Paramount. <laughs> oh, that, that was my Jamaican that came out. Paramount. Paramount. <laughs> oh, I don't want the beef out of cocoa, bro. <laughs> that, was a, that was the Yachty that came out, man. Yeah, no, That's uh, why I was laughing. Good, though. Good. Yo, but how, you, how you feel about this? supposedly uh you know um you know purchase and do you think this will tie in or or trickle into like video games or no nope nope <laughs> nope not at all bro i'm not putting no stock into this because it's sony pictures and most likely whatever they own wouldn't translate into gaming anyway because they most likely would own the movie rights to these characters and not necessarily gaming so I don't think this translates into anything gamer related uh, and if it does, it would be very minimal. Um, but I can see uh, because Paramount owns Nickelodeon and you know, that Nickelodeon catalog is crazy. So um, I can see. What know, if they, what if they did games like a, a PlayStation uh, uh, Mission Impossible or Top Gun uh, type game? You think that, that that's, that's feasible or that's possible or? He's still nah, the same. Nah, I'm, I'm in agreement with you. I don't feel like this is going to be tying over to uh, video games, but uh -huh. I do feel like this will be like a smart move to consolidate, you know, PlayStation. What do they call it? Uh, productions. PlayStation what, Core. No. What they call the uh, the PlayStation like movies? Oh, PlayStation and, Studios. Studios. No, PlayStation Studios is. Uh, no, games. oh, you talking about the you talking about the the TV shit, the movies and it's productions, right? PlayStation I production, I think. I, I forgot. I'm gonna be honest. I Whatever what that's it called, is it, it, better that you have a service like this where you can just have everything in one, you know, uh, sitting, you know, yeah. rather than having it here on Peacock, Amazon, Netflix, Hulu. Also, they they about to lock down Star Trek, man. Like I'm a big Trekkie. I'm a Trekkie. I'm a huge Star Trek fan. You feel me? The best captain is Jean-Luc Picard. This is not up for debate. I, don't debate with me. Debate with your mother. Jean-Luc <laughs> Picard is the best captain out of, out of all of Star Trek. There is no better captain than Jean-Luc Picard. You understand? Anyway, That's I'm a Trek X, right? Yes. Uh, when it comes to Paramount, they would also gain access to... They would also own Star Trek. That's big. Now, obviously, Star Trek... Is Star Trek as big as Star Wars? Probably not. No, I think not, Star not Wars is bigger. Nah, not this yeah, Star age. Wars. Star Wars is is bigger, but uh, Star Trek is still really big. Has a really cult following, um, and yeah, that would be big as well. Um, so I'd be excited for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I just feel like it would be cool just to have their movies and TV shows in one uh, place. Because it's, it's kind of weird. I'm like, all right, Peacock is over here. Where Twisted Metal is at? 
Uh, I'm hearing Amazon might have the God of War joint. Wait, and, uh, doesn't Par- Paramount also owns Paramount? Halloween. They Halloween, have they have the Transformers, the Mission Impossible, Top Gun, Halloween. Um, I think they have some of the Nickelodeon stuff because Viacom is on the uh, Paramount as well. Um, because we was talking yeah, about no, it yeah. in Tehran space the other day, and um, they have they have like they they they're they're the the parent to also a lot Halloween. Of these other- they would, yeah, they, yeah. If if PlayStation gets Paramount, they're gonna get a lot of the subsidiaries as well, because I think, um, oh, Paramount, Paramount did uh, Twisted Metal, or was it Peacock? No, that was Twisted. No, that was Peacock. That was Peacock. was Peacock. I remember, I remember subscribe because was it Paramount? I'm about to look that up. I forgot because I I did it for a week. Cause I did it for a week, and then I unsubscribed. It was Peacock. Twisted Peacock metal. Did twist metal. I ain't see that joint either. I still gotta watch that. It, it's pretty good. Yeah, see, it was Peacock. Yeah, Peacock did. Damn, that was. Damn, that was last year, July. Yeah, last year. Time yeah, Peacock fast, did huh? that. Yep. And I know they got deals with like Netflix, and then they got deals with like mm-hmm. Amazon, Hulu. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. It's just, all it's just all over the goddamn place, man. Mm-hmm. Tighten that thing up, but um, yeah, it does. It does something you know interesting to talk about. I don't know how, uh, like real this is, like the validity of it. It's coming from New York Times, so I'm guessing there's some type of it's, plus, it's, uh, plus, uh, also the owner of Paramount right now, um, or the CEO or, or the owner, I think he passed away or something like that. His daughter gained ownership of the company. And the person that the daughter, the person that the daughter wants to sell the company to, the board doesn't want them to sell to. So that's why they got other people that's trying to bid and outbid as well. So that's why Sony's got the hand in the pot. And Sony is teaming up with, um, I think it's a hedge fund. Are they teaming um, up with Apollo Global Management yes, investment firm? Yes, yes, a hedge fund to lock down Paramount. So um, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I'm not subscribed to uh, Paramount right now. So. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Even though Star Trek is there, because I want to rewatch. I want to do a Star Trek Next Generation rewatch. Is there all the Halloweens? Is there? Yeah, you got a very old soul, man. You watch. Yeah, you. you watch uh, Mash too, don't you? Nah, hell no. I ain't never watched that bullshit. <laughs> not, even, not even back in the day. Nah, MASH, I'm good. When I, when MASH came on, I mean, it was time to go to bed. Yeah, you skipped the channel. Okay. Like, right. Yeah, so I turned the channel or something like that. Because MASH normally came on like 1 in the morning. I'm good. It came on late. Yo, I used I, to watch. I used I, to watch. Uh, I, used to watch it. I used to go I to CBS to watch, to watch Murphy Brown. Remember Murphy Brown? I don't know if yeah, you remember yeah, Murphy yeah. Brown. Yeah, yeah, I know Murphy Brown. Yo, listen. I tried to watch MASH like once or twice. I said, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it, bro. I can't, bro. I can't, man. I try hard. Uh, I can't watch that man. Shit. That's garbage. So garbage. I like the theme song, though. Theme song's good. The mesh. Yo, shout out to Yo, my shout man. Out. Oh, you got it? You got to switch up? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to go, I, I'm about to blow right. up this other thing. All right. Yo, Unicron, appreciate you for the super chat, bro. He says, sup, fellas. Shout out to the actual gamers, not lollygaggers. Gamers, not trolls. Gamers, not buffoons. Gamers. Old school and new school alike. Big shout out to uh, Unicron. Appreciate you for the super chat, bro. And always appreciate you rocking out with the Wups boys, man. We appreciate you, man. Um, and then shout out to my boy, Up Chuck Gaming for the super chat. Make sure you guys check out Plus on Block podcast every Sunday, 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Plus on Block YouTube channel. The link is in the description and it's a pin. It's on our channel. Support them. We want to get them to a thousand subs. Go and support great content creators. Shout out to Up Chuck. Chuck says, what up, fellas? Just wanted to tell Persona to get off my girl, Mariko, from Shogun. Oh, yeah, uh, Mariko. That's, that's, a, that's a shorty right there. Your girl, Nani? Mariko. A nanny? Yo, listen, Chuck. Fall Yanji. back, bro. That's an that's a amazing show, man. Uh, yo, it's an amazing show, and Mariko yo, is beautiful. Uh, so. Yo, Chuck, you can go, 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 go talk to Ochibana, man. She, she, she don't want to be with Ishido anyway. Go go talk to Ochibana. <laughs> Yo, you, know, you know, you know, like uh, Shogun was an old show, right? They was remaking it. Yeah, it was. It's a I didn't even know well. that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, oh, great yeah, shout show. Out to, uh, shout out to J Row, man. Appreciate you uh, for the two dollars super chat, man. 
Shout out to you, man. Yeah, appreciate J Row. Um, speaking of plus on block, you know, make sure y'all tune in tomorrow, eleven thirty a.m. Eastern time. Uh, Hunter X Hunter Nen Impact. Uh, they're gonna be. It's gonna be at Evo, uh, Japan. So for three days, starting next week, uh, on Saturday, April twenty seventh. Uh, we will be holding a playable demo of the current, the currently developing 2D fighting game Hunter X Hunter Nen Impact at Evo Japan 2024. Ushin Road Evo. Games mm. booth. All six characters will be playable uh, during this demo at the booth, man. So this is going to be dope, man. Looking, looking forward to seeing uh, gameplay from this because we just mm-hmm. saw the little teaser or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm very excited. I'm a huge Hunter X Hunter fan. Um, mm-hmm. I, I definitely want to see how it's being implemented. And this is from Aiton, so I know <laughs> this game gonna be it gonna be there gonna be some broken stuff in this game for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yo, I'm very excited. How you feeling, man? Get to see some gameplay soon. I, I'm excited. I'm really really excited for this. Um, love Hunter X Hunter. Uh, Gone Kaluuya. You already know. It's gonna and, be my uh, man right, old man right here. I'm excited. I, I can't wait to see the gameplay, man. Like this is what has me most excited. That gameplay. I can't wait to see the gameplay for this. Uh yo, I, I'm I'm actually jealous too, not being at Evil Japan this year because they also got this uh exclusive uh hitbox, mini hitbox, Evo mm-hmm. hitbox Japan from uh partnering with one of those Jap- uh, Japanese um stores. And this hitbox looks absolutely beautiful, man. It Yo, Evo Evo Japan is gonna have a lot of gameplay coming up because not only with this game, also uh uh two X what do you call it? Two X KO uh Project L. Project L. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be there as well. So there's gonna be a lot of uh gameplay. fighting game content, especially next mm-hmm. week or the following yep. week, you know, people mm-hmm. you know get the information uh coming yep, out. So good. yeah, yeah. I I tag I tag uh I was being annoying. I was like, let me tag uh, Dre and Chuck. This is Dre and Chuck right here, yo guys. Make sure y'all go and subscribe uh, to Plus Some Block Podcast. These are our bros right here. Um, they're on the road to 500 uh, subscribers and even to 1K. Um, and they do a dope podcast, man. So, yo, Chuck, funny, bro. They're on the front page <laughs> of the of our channel. You know, what I mean, click on it, head on over there. I know they put up a, a new video. Um, Dre put up a new video um, showing some uh, my man Vane. Uh, so definitely go and check them out. Sure. Yeah, yes, sir. Shout out to Plus Home Block Boys, man. What Chuck said? Yeah, why hitbox? Chuck said, what, happened, what happened to the other hitbox? I got them hitbox, man. They chilling. They chilling. I got them all, man. I want this other one, though. This other one looks really you got good. Every well. hitbox out there. Yo, you know what's a hit, though? Yo, you. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna go real New York persona. I ain't even gonna hold you, but I, I, I held that. I said, "Oh yeah, I'm on whoops." Uh. <laughs> Stella yeah. Blade mm. marketing. You know, uh, yeah, we coming back to Stella Blade, man. The marketing for Stella Blade has been on point. Uh, from the Dev Diaries, uh, they've been showing gameplay of the, you know, enemies, you know, the abilities, music videos, dance tutorials, all over Yo, the place. Yeah, they going, in, they going they all going over, in. man. And I'm yeah. seeing a, a rampant stuff um as far as when it comes to Twitter and you know, the the developer going out and talking, the interviews is coming out. Um, I know a lot of people that got the review codes, the reviews is coming out in four days. Is it twenty fourth? Uh yeah, the twenty fourth. Yeah, the twenty yeah, fourth. So mm-hmm. I just want to ask you, Persona, and we wanna we wanna finalize our prediction as well. Um, how you feel about Stella Blaze marketing? This is like this is a second party game, you know, PlayStation is marketing for. Uh, put a lot of money into it. Triple A Korean de- uh, developed game. Uh, yeah. You know, when I was watching the behind the scenes, it was like, this is very rare in Korea where you have a triple A console game because they're so mobile focused over there. Um, mm-hmm. So they was a little bit hesitant and scared to develop the game. But seeing the marketing and the push for this game has been really special, man. So how you feel about Stellar Blaze marketing? And can we finalize that metacritic prediction yeah 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 so uh you know when it comes to the marketing for uh stella blade 
I, I got to be honest, man. PlayStation is marketing this like it's a first party game, man. Like, I, I it's crazy the amount of like tweets, videos, behind the scenes, dev diaries, music. There's all these other different things that's trying to that they're they're making very synonymous with Stella Blade and and really Stella Blade being really synonymous with PlayStation when it comes to that support. Um, it's really great to see PlayStation supporting uh their partnerships and developers in this type of way to see the game's success. There's a lot of love for the game. There's a lot of people that's very excited for the game. I do think the game is going to do uh pretty well when it comes to uh you know the the, the success uh with the sales of the game. Uh, and for my Metacritic, I'm going to go with 86 mm. as a meta for the game. Okay. I you? am. So first and foremost, I do enjoy seeing the marketing push for the game. Uh, it's great to see a new IP being pushed like this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the discourse between the game as far as, you know, what's happening, I feel like it's also helping. Uh, the game get more, you know, eyes uh, put on it. Um, but yeah, I, I, I watching these videos and seeing the, the 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 cool, you know, abilities and stuff that you know Eve is going to be doing. Definitely more excited for the game. Um, my prediction for Metacritic, I want to say an eighty four. Mm. My prediction. Why eighty four? I mean, I, I I you know, I'm just curious. Why not higher? And I'm not saying that it has to be higher. I'm just curious what 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 landed you at 84 and not like an 87 or like an 88 or something like that. In simple terms, gaming politics. Yeah. Got you. Uh, Copy. I feel Copy. like a lot of politics is going to be, uh, you know, implemented in a lot of reviews, um, and a lot of things about the game gonna be left out but overall i think it's gonna be 84 i think it's a great score 86 no, it's, yeah it's not, it's not a bad it's score a, it's i think it's score. a great score yeah um i'm just i'm, I'm not just everything curious. Is a, not everything's a 90 but yo really i i hope it's a over 90 especially after watching the, the the dev diary i feel like yeah like it's a big risk for them korean developed studio triple a console game and that's the story the the concept of the story it, it, it's, it's appealing to me from what they're saying. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? My man was like, uh, he started the, the concept of the game due to, you know, in the world, they was talking about how taxi drivers will be being taken over by AI. And he was questioning like, what is humanity? How would you feel if humanity no longer exists? You know, how, you know, how would the world, you know, continue. And that's the, 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 the the meat and potatoes premise. of the game, the premise of the game. And I'm just like, yo, this this might be a little deeper than what we initially thinking. We thinking about mm-hmm. we thinking about ass and boobs and combat, but I feel like the game is going to be much uh, much story, deeper. The story is definitely something that I, that I, that has been on my radar. Yeah, and jump yeah. definitely definitely can't wait to jump into that story. Absolutely, absolutely, man. So yeah, I I, I can't wait to see how Eve develops. Um, you know, all the characters surrounding her as well. And hopefully it's a smashing success, so you know they can probably do a sequel, or if if it if it's warranted, or you know other games like that. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. For but sure. I, I, so far, I'm liking I'm liking the push, man. I'm liking the marketing. You know the NBA games come on today, uh, so I'm going to be watching a lot of these games, and I want to see if there's any type of Stella Blade type commercials in these games. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll definitely tweet it for sure. Uh but yeah, Persona, that's the show. As far as the news. Yes, sir. If you yes, made it this sir. far, here are your trophies. <clears throat> that's such a beautiful sound, man. Whoever created the sound of the trophy, I need that person. Need, I need that person to, to get a raise right now. Okay. I need that person to get a raise right now. Jim Ryan, Hiroki Toki. Uh 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 uh, uh, uh Herman Hulse. Jim, Jim Ryan not there no more. Hiroki Totoki and Herman Hulse. Oh yeah Hulse. yeah yeah. Shout out to Jim Ryan. I need that person that created this sound to get a raise right now. They need to be the next president of PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's get into the topic, Persona Man. We, we're going to talk about some more PlayStation Five Pro. 
Uh, because what's going around this week in gaming is this whole enhanced label and its targets uh, when it comes to the PlayStation 5 Pro. And I just want, you know, it's it's not going to be like a long, in-depth topic. It's just more so how you feeling about, you know, the enhanced label. Should it be more? Should it be less? Is it perfectly fine what we're seeing here as far as the rumors? Mm-hmm. Talk about it. Um, you know, it's hard for me to gauge these type of rumors because we don't really have anything to go off of it in terms of a visual mm-hmm. or an actual example to see if it warrants a PS5 Pro enhanced label. I think with what they're seeing here, especially with the PSSR AI upscaling technology and things like the that, pisser, that's, that's, that's my shot. The pisser <laughs> that's supposed that's supposed to be um kind of like implemented into even if developers don't implement it for what we're seeing they're still gonna the the games will still benefit from that ai upscaling uh technology uh that's allegedly being worked on for the ps5 pro um but from what i'm seeing here 4k resolution and 60 frames per second ray tracing uh and things like that the super resolution with the psr uh you know uh boost to vrr right all these different things it sounds good, and and, and What's it going if to be it on paper? Breathes, I mean, yeah, on, on paper, in, in real in real life uh, performance. And, it, and if it breathe, if it breathes new life into some of these games, especially like um, games like Gotham Knights, if we could get a four K sixty on that, you feel me, or get some updates or whatever, um, it would be interesting. I, I'm really interested to see how how this PS5 Pro enhance will benefit uh, games from a third party perspective because I know from first party they're going to knock it out the park. It's more so third party that I really want to see if it's getting that PS5 Pro enhanced title, is it really taking advantage and, and, and how big of a difference is it from the PS5? So here's what they're saying here. Here's a report from The Verge. The Verge report suggests that uh, we could see the PlayStation 5 Pro enhanced titles, which run between uh, 1080p to 1440p at 30 frames a second on the standard uh, PS5 and between uh, 1280p to 4k on the ps5 pro at the same frame rate developers would have the option to enable uh enabling ray tracing effects and the quality uh for the ps5 pro enhanced label without boosting the res- resolution or frame rate however it is reported that the playstation 5 pro enhanced label will not be offered uh for games that simply run at more uh stable frame rate nor will it uh quality nor will it quality for the it's label on the label yeah, yeah they they it's they quality for the label uh uh where i'm at nor will it's the quality label, for the run, label if it if runs it run, at a variable uh, resolution uh you can read more on the stipulations of the pfi pro here a little, uh, little mm-hmm. plug there meanwhile the pro uh the pfi pro ultra boost mode will have VR, VRR modes run at a high frame rate, uh, so they will still benefit and improve performance on the console, even even if they haven't been updated. So they're pretty much saying here that the enhanced label is not specifically tied to just the frame rate, increasing yeah. frame rate. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we're talking quality, I want to see what that call, if you, because it looks like some work is definitely going to have to be put into some older titles in order to get that PS5 Pro enhanced title. I'm interested to see what that looks like when if a dev does decide to go back and re-release uh, or clean it up. And if they're getting that PS5 Pro enhanced title, if a lot of work has to be done to receive that title, I don't see the I don't see I don't see some third party developers releasing that for free. Wait, what charge for update? Oh, like ten dollars yeah. upgrade? Yeah. That is not gonna bode over well. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it, it, it isn't. Which is why Especially if I the mean, game is I mean, already seventy dollars, and you're going to charge I mean, ten dollars for upgrade. Nah, they're not. Mm-hmm. Nah, they're not going to do that. No way. I'm I don't interested see that. to see because I don't know what we're going to seventy dollars, then eighty dollars for a PS5 Pro know, upgrade. No, what, I, what I'm saying is, I don't know how much work is going into creating getting that game to the PS5 Pro enhanced level. Who gives a damn? So if, if it, no, I no, I, <laughs> I why? <laughs> what I'm saying is. <laughs> What I'm saying is, 
I'm interested to see how third party developers respond to something like this if they do decide to put the work in. If they do release it for free, which I think would be the best and most consumer friendly thing to do, great. But I can see some developers that might try to take advantage of that and say, well, you know, we had to put this much work back into this game in order to get it to this level. And this is what we're asking for for people who are beyond the I game. Can see, I can see that for a game, it was like $30, $20, $40. A $70 game, and you're talking about, oh, $10 uh, PS5 Pro enhanced upgrade. You got to be, I stay off the, the Wii. 420 is Yo, one day. I agree. I agree. I agree. But we know how third party can get, man. I, can, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to slip that in there. Yo, what's a, what's a game? Oh. Perfect example. Okay, I'm not agreeing with you, by the way. But I don't. I, I'm not. I, I know. I'm, I, I know. I know. What, I know what you're implying. No, 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 but, let me, no, but let me make this clear because you uh, know PBS. It, PBS. It, PBS, PBS let, yeah, let me PBS. PBS this. I am not saying that I am in favor of this. I am not in favor of that. But what I'm saying is, if there's significant amount of work that needs to be put into a game to get it to a PS5 Pro enhanced level, I wouldn't be surprised if a third party developer does try to slip that $10 upgrade path into it mm. to get extra money out of out of the game, given the labor that's going in to get it to that PS5 Pro enhanced level. I am not saying that I am in favor of this. I am not in favor of that. But I, I know how these companies think sometimes, and that might be something they're thinking about as well. So for the out-of-context people, I had you're, the PBS saying, you're saying that you are in favor of anti-consumer practices and you're the oh part of the God. problem <laughs> that, that's what's going to be uh said oh, yeah. in the clip that uh let me go but what if like say gta 6 does what you are saying or implying 70 dollar game right ps5 pro enhanced version is 80 dollars base 80 dollars I'm buying a collector's edition of the game. Anyway, no, 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 no. Don't don't think that way. I don't want you to think that way. <laughs> I'm saying it. the base, $70. The PS5 enhanced, the PS5 Pro enhanced version is $80. Do you think people would be in an uproar when it comes to GTA 5? I mean, 6. No, no, no. Because it's the same argument with Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. $70. And that game still sold like hotcakes. I don't see there's certain games that are above reproach or above the rules that people tend to set when it comes to this game industry and what they're willing, what they are and aren't willing to accept. And games like Grand Theft Auto um, are above that, where they can get away with, oh well, look, we're doing it, huh? Says, says this community. Says oh, says the says gamers. Okay. Says the community. They they spoke with their wallets with Zelda. Mm. $70 on the same platform and the same thing, but it was $70. Mm. Gamers voted with their wallets with that and still bought the game. Grand Theft Auto, a highly, highly popular franchise. Uh, people are not going to not miss that game. Now, what may happen is people will just buy the $70 version and accept that, but I don't see anybody boycotting or not purchasing Grand Theft Auto 6 because of an extra $10 being tacked on for the PS5 Pro Enhanced version. I think people will still buy it. And even if the I ones won't. that do complain, they still will buy it. I won't. Okay. Majority of the people will still buy it because Grand Theft Auto is unfortunately above... Well, I won't say unfortunately, but Grand Theft Auto is above the rules that people set when it comes to these companies and gaming and what they will and won't do. Well, if that, if that was, to, if that was to happen, uh, other, regardless of if, if it's just Grand Theft Auto, other people will try to mimic that. Hey, I'll <laughs> 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 Trying to say what game was right. <laughs> game was right. Yeah. Yeah, the regular version will be seventy dollars. Yeah, I, I feel like yeah, it will no, be. Yeah, the regular version would be. Yeah, yeah. But, but we'll if say you want if there's a PS5 Pro, Pro enhance, it's gonna be eighty. Persona, what he's implying here, he don't believe this. He's saying that he can see third party developers charging that ten dollar upgrade to even. I feel like even uh, PlayStation developers can't do that. They already charge something else uh, because of the work that they put in for the console. Yep. But 
you, you know, I was going to ask a question, but I'll save that for like six show or you know, speak on art. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was going to, I was going to go to the other platforms, but we want to keep it PlayStation here, man. But yeah, person, this that is pretty much a show, man. Yeah. If you made it all the way to the end of the show, here is your platinum trophy. Hey. Even when you watch What's Up PlayStation podcast, you get a platinum. You know what I mean? Uh, just to store that thing up there wherever you want to store it in your mind. You know what I mean? Even if you tack <laughs> it's a PS4 version. Yo, you know, I, I used to do that. So I used to counsel kids right back in the day, like high school and in college. I used to go to summer camp, like I used to tell people. Yeah. And what used to work with them to get to behave, I used to say, all right, guys, if you behave, you will get stickers. And they were like, what stickers? <laughs> they get all Stick excited. Them. And I'm like, all right, so what sticker do you want? They, they, they'll say whatever sticker. I want a sticker like this. I want Goku doing a command mayor. And I was like, you know what? You behaved yourself. You got that sticker. Think of it. Only you know, they were like, they were like, what? <laughs> but they got into me. Hey, old, what? That's pretty old school. Nowadays, you gotta you gotta give a kid an iPhone for them to behave. Yo, so like, so take this iPad real quick, man. Yo, you know, go watch some stickers. YouTube shorts. That's old school. I remember back in like elementary school, uh, like like way 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 back in the day, like like pre K kindergarten or whatever. You get the star next to your name throughout the day. Oh, yo, fact, Whoever, had, fact, the, whoever fact. had the most stars. Would get like a like whoever had the most stars by the end of the week could pick out the pri- get a prize from yeah, the you prize. Got, yo, yo, like my yo, fourth I, grade teacher, her name was Miss Thomas. That. She's bad right. too, man. I used to love Miss Thomas. She used to do that whole sticker yeah, you joint. Thought bad, you thought she was a baddie back in fourth grade too? Yeah, listen, I was I was a grown adult at fourth. Well, I ain't, <laughs> <laughs> doing my hey, thing at, of, at, four, my at fourth grade. Definitely... Yo, but she used to do the sticker joint. She's like honorable mention, uh, Jabari, honorable mention. Honor... And if you had the most stickers, she mm. had like snacks and you know a little you know little cheap toys where you do little sticky things and throw a sticky mm. or little stretchy joints. You know, a little little crazy thing that we used to do in the nineties. And yeah, yo, that used yeah. to make my day, man. Cause I used to go for the popcorn. I used to go for the little cookies. You know what I mean? She used to do the grandma was, cookies. I, there was this uh one time I, I I you know I got I got like high score and uh there was this there was this light up yo yo that I got Ooh. from the prize from the yo, prize. I ain't doing yo yo in a long time. Yo, I wonder if when I, still I got, got it. that when I got that yo yo, bro, I felt like I was the shit, bro. Uh, yeah. little, I was so high. You knew like, you knew how to walk the dog? Bro. Walk the dog around. Are you yes, crazy? Yes, yo, sir. I was okay. a yo yo kid, man. Okay. Walk the dog around the world. Yo, listen. Around the I world. Love, love, rock the baby. Love, yo, 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 I I mean I haven't yo, I haven't used a yo yo in like 15, 16 years. So I, I could the one I could probably still do is walk the dog, but like the the rock the baby and all, I, I can't I can't do that no more. No, not, not now. So I'm from I'm from Jamaica, right? The yo yos we had we didn't had the ones with the brain. You know you know what I'm, when I say that with the brain, right? Where it would mm. do the stop and it would hold it. Yes. When yeah. I fu- when I saw a, a a yo-yo for the first time with like the brain that would stop it automatically, that blew my mind, bro. Because we was no, doing that. like you would like you would go like this. And then and you, you hear like, you hear the noise go to and, then you go, and then you would go and it would go and like you had up, to you, like, yeah. No. Yeah, yo. You had to do that manually, so you you loosen yeah, it up, yeah, yeah. because we ain't had that you know type of technology. That so, and I saw, I was like, what? Brain, crazy. Let me let me chill, yo. But yo, yeah. shout out to uh, Cobb Sandy for the seven month of being a Wups Nation member. He said, I remember getting uh, pogs and slammers. <laughs> <laughs> you you yo, Cobb, you telling your age right there. <laughs> yo, you telling your age right there, man. <laughs> But I yo, might buy uh, a, I might buy a yo yo. Yo yo, right? Yo, <laughs> yeah, for I might real. Buy a yo yo, man. Real talk. But well, yeah, uh, Persona Man, that is the uh the show. You know, yes, let's sir. get into the outro. Let the people know where they can find you, what you got coming up on your channel. I see mm-hmm. you posting up some Dragon's Dogma stuff as well up there. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, talk to the people, man. Close us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So first and foremost, man, big shout out to the Whoops Nation members on the channel. Shout out to the Whoops subscribers, our community. Uh, you know, we appreciate you guys so much for rocking out with us, man. Every Saturday here on What's Up PlayStation Podcast, supporting myself and Bari, it really, really means a lot to us, man. Uh, you guys know this, man. Thank you guys so much for, for supporting us. Uh, for anybody that's found our channel for the first time, we hope you guys also enjoyed the show as well. Uh, we hope we earned your liking and subscribe by the end of the show. You know, it's the end of the show. So hopefully, you know, you enjoyed the show enough to want to come back again, right? 
Uh, as for me, man, I am Persona. Uh, Gaming with Persona is my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Persona Speaks. Uh, what I got coming to my channel is I have all of the boss fights and Dragon's Dogma uploaded on my channel. I just need to create the thumbnail and make them public. That's going to happen between today and tomorrow. I kind of want to stream tonight. Maybe some X Defiant. Just to kind of talk about it. I might. I wonder if Barrio will play it with me. He's not. No. I, <laughs> <laughs> I am not in a multiplayer not. mood, man. I got some yeah, other know. Uh, single player stuff to I get know. through. I know. That's why I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm thinking about it. I, I might I might stream might for like an hour. If not, because I might be, because right after this, I definitely am going back to Rising Tide. I want to get through that. And then I do want to start Rise of Ronin tonight. So probably tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? But um, I am going to be putting out the boss fights for Dragon's Dogma. And then be honest a with you too, it might be a good stream because I I don't really see like X defined streams like going out there like that. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll 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 decide later on today and see what I do. But um, I am doing a tips and tricks video for Dragon's Dogma as well. Uh, I'm gonna do two videos, man. I'm going to uh, an unmoored world stream on Dragon's Dogma. Hmm. Help you guys out with that. Hmm. Mm, you put something in my head. Uh, uh pause. Whoa. You, you, what the hell going on here, man? See, when I wanna when I host a show, he wanna act all crazy, man. Why you can't do that when you host a show? Stop saying, yo, this is a PG show out here, man. Yo, persona, man. Hey, yo, wrap it up, bro. Yo, this dude is wild. This dude is wild, man. You know what I mean? That actually is a great idea, broken. Uh <laughs> I might do something like that. I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Um, but, uh, and then obviously talking about the vocations and stuff like that. Uh, I'm only going to really talk about fighter, warrior, and thief. And that's really the, the three classes that I really played and what, really want to talk about in great length. Um, but a tips and tricks. Uh, but unmoored world stream. I might do that. I might do that. So, you know, I might do that. I might do that. Real talk. We'll see. But uh, outside of that, um, I know I haven't done a Wimpus on a Speaks in a minute. Yo, really, really, truly, I'm studying a lot, guys. I have my certification exam coming up in two and three weeks. So I'm doing a lot of studying. Um, so, like, that's why, like, I'm, I'm this, you know, the shows, shows aren't really happening. But once I get my cert, uh, you know, listen, real, yeah, real, real life stuff is kind of like taking precedence right now. And then obviously completing some of these games. But once I get my cert and stuff like that, um, well, I'll definitely go back to when Persona speaks uh, and doing shows. Uh, but outside of that, man, that's it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys for rocking out with us, man. And, you know, not letting the uh, negativity and the, the bullshit and the lies cloud your mind. And you guys know who Wups boys are. But we appreciate y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, man. Uh, ask me, Jay Bari. Uh, YouTube channel, Jay Bari underscore on twitter um I, lots of final fantasy 7 rebirth content i uploaded a lot of stuff uh in the last week i know a lot of people get upset when i upload boss fights uh <laughs> but you just gotta hold that i'm sorry you know uh, i do enjoy uh the comments uh that i do get when people say oh it just helped me out um this was a great strategy you know this this got me through it so you know, that's why I do, uh, uh, you know, those videos uh, for. Um, and I like to have archives of everything. Like I said, when I first started my channel. But yes, yeah, so, so all the Final Fantasy boss fights are done except for the final boss. Um, it's a long boss fight. So I haven't uploaded that one yet, but I will upload that soon. But I won't make it public right away. Uh, I have to do the, the legendary bouts. I'm going to upload that on my strategies and my material build up for those. Um, and this, I'm going to have my review out. Uh, well, I'm doing my review this weekend for sure. Um, and I'll have the review out either Monday or Tuesday. Um, we'll see how many takes or how many, how long it's going to be. But my review for Final Fantasy will be out. Also, next week here at What's Up PlayStation. Uh, we're going to have John Eric Bentley, uh, the voice actor for Barrett Wallace for Final Fantasy VII Remake and Rebirth here on the channel. 
We're going to be talking with him, you know, ask him a few questions about Final Fantasy, about Barrett itself, himself. Um, and yeah, we're going to have fun with it. You know, uh, John is a really cool, cool individual and just can't wait to actually get to talk to him and get to know him and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can come through, um, show the support there. The really show. excited for that. I'm excited. Yeah, man. To talk this, this one, this one means a lot right here, you know? Uh, yeah. so sure. very, very excited to, to have him on. Also, we're going to have a community, uh, you know, um, you know, posts where if you guys want to, you know, ask your questions, you can put it there in that post. And we'll, you know, try our best to get to uh, those questions. But yeah, that is pretty much it, Persona Man. Uh, we appreciate all the love, appreciate all the likes, all the super chats, everybody that, you know, joined the Wups Nation or rejoined the Wups Nation. Thank you. All the gifted uh, memberships. Thank you for supporting What's Up PlayStation Podcast. And see you guys next week. Same place, same time, same crew. Oh, you, you, oh my God, you butchered this song. <laughs> I did, right? It. You put it in. Yeah, I, I'm saying persona shit, and I, and I fucked up. But yeah, episode 160 is in the books. Are we close with. Always remember, guys. What's up, PlayStation Podcast? The podcast for the community, by the community, and we'll see you guys next the time. PC same community. Time, same time. It was <laughs> yo. They ain't gonna clip that. And we'll see you guys next time. They same time, same place, same cool the crew. We appreciate you guys so much, man. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe. Peace. Later. PC gamers.